This is Hammond. And Jessica. And you're listening to the Friendly Atheist Podcast. Please go to patreon.com slash friendly atheist podcast to support this show. This is our last episode of the year, which means it's the one week when I do absolutely no work. Mm -hmm. And Jessica reminds me of the crappy year that was. And this year was pretty bad. <laughs> so you're going to run us through mm -hmm. the entire year for the people who haven't uh, gone through a garbage year in review. Mm -hmm. We're just going to go month by month mm -hmm. and you're going to remind me of everything. Right. We divide it into the good shit and the bad shit. Okay. Um, and we, I, we, I added a new participation game element for Hemant. <laughs> I'm worried. So, in addition to just the general collection of, like, news stuff mm -hmm. that happened this year, um, I also went through and picked out a few memorable um, uh, talking points from this very podcast. Oh, God. And I'm going to ask you trivia questions about it. Oh, great. So, just, like, if you can remember why we talked about this person <laughs> or okay. why this thing happened. All right. Um, Unfortunately, it won't start until February because I did it in reverse chronological order <laughs> and I did run out of time and I deeply had to shower before I haven't got here. Got it. So apologies. Nothing um, happened in January. Yeah, no, it was, it was dry January. It was real chill for <laughs> once. Um, okay. Okay. Here's the thing. I'm going to start with the bad shit. And I, for some reason, decided I really wanted to like hit home how many mass shootings there were in the United States this year. And I started regretting that in like May. Um, uh -huh. but you know, go forth. We shall. Okay. So we start with 11 killed at a dance studio at a lunar new year celebration in Monterey park, California. I remember seeing video of that. S really, really scary. Not the shooting the trying to stop the shooter. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, and then there were seven killed in a shooting spree in half moon bank, California, three mm -hmm. killed at a circle K in Yakima, Washington, um, I feel like you could do this every day of the year. Yeah, um, I America. really had. I, I think it was most. Mm, it was really just like what popped up in my searches. <laughs> mm. um, also, the sort of Gaza-Israeli conflict kind of starts kicking in. And do you remember Tyree in Nichols? In February. In January. January. That was according to my research. That could be wrong. Honestly, that seems early to me too. Mm hmm. That was October, the new stuff. Yeah, I, I wonder. I mean, they're always in conflict. Right. Yeah. Anyway. Fair enough. Tyree um, Nichols. Tyree Nichols. That was a police mm -hmm. thing. Murdered by um, Memphis cops during a traffic stop. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure that was But a... those cops, I think, eventually did get charged. They right? did. Yeah. Um, also, there is a non-zero chance that um, some of these things are like have since been overturned. Like you Texas had. did this. Right. They right, might have right. undone it since. And if I missed that, I'm very sorry. <laughs> I'm doing my fucking best. You had one job for one week. Listen, okay. I have so many jobs and I'm so fucking tired. I haven't had a day off in like two weeks. So if it sounds like I'm losing my mind, <laughs> it's only because I'm losing my mind and my depression is rip roaring out of control. <laughs> and unlike most people, so I don't get a cool Christmas break from work. I had to work on Christmas day because Barnes need care every fucking day of the year. So uh, go easy on me. More bad news. Um, well, actually, <laughs> That'll make you feel better. Good news. Oh. Uh, we're on to the good shit of okay. January. Um, one of my favorite stories begins in January when, uh, when Kevin McCarthy <laughs> fails to become Speaker of the House. Oh, my God. That he was this didn't year. have enough votes. Yeah. And then it happened three times. And like, then, and then he finally became speaker. Oh, no, that was time number like fifteen. Are you? Well, are you thinking of how Mike, Mike Johnson, Johnson is now? No, 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 no. Kevin was McCarthy it fifteen? Was fifteen ish? Okay, give or take. See, so one. I probably saw an old headline. Yeah, couldn't first three do votes it. is what I saw. Oh yeah, first three votes he failed, and then he just kept failing, and it was glorious. It, how long? How long was that in the news cycle? Was that like a week long? Was that a couple days? I can't, I can't oh, remember. I don't remember how many days it was, but it was days. I, and it got funnier every oh damn time. Oh, my God. Time. And I kept getting push alerts. Fails again. Fails again. Don't Fails don't know how again. to count votes. Because why would you go say, all right, let's vote on this when you don't have them? Mm -hmm. And like, if you fail once, then you say, all right, we're not doing that again until, until we sure. secured everything. And then they just kept failing. Mm. And I thought that would be the speaker drama for the year. 
And, and I was yet, wrong. <laughs> and yet we were blessed with and part somehow two. it only got worse. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God, that was fun. <laughs> Remember um, the good old days when Kevin McCarthy was the speaker? In the house? <laughs> God, what a depressing thing you just oh. said. Um, last week, we uh, questioned whether or not Pope Benedict the 16th is dead. Um, he he is? was as of January. Oh, there <laughs> so you he go. did die this year, so we're not complete idiots. Uh huh. Um, or he died, I think he died on like New Year's Eve or something like oh, that. And so okay. his funeral was in January. Um, and then uh, New York, the Attorney General, I believe, issued a one point six million dollar fine on the Trump Organization for. Which, can you you want to name any of them? For lying on taxes. Uh, yeah, tax fraud, conspiracy, and falsified business records. Yeah. Which I, I guess is all of those. All of those things are lying nice. on taxes. It's nice that they get a punishment. Also, a couple million to them is nothing. So it's not going to stop mark? them because it's I not know, Trump personally, right? It's the Trump well, Organization, right? Yeah, like. Even if he's lying about whatever he thinks his net worth is, that's still, you know, that's nothing to these people. So it's not enough to yeah. be a deterrent, but it it's did, just something. But it's also not the last fine yeah. that the Trump organization, <laughs> Trump himself. And that was the facing. last time Trump ever got in trouble. Mm-hmm. Right. No. Uh, this year I am separating out deaths because Mikey uh, very kindly put this, this list together for me. So okay. if I missed anybody, yell at Mikey. Um, deaths in January, Lisa Marie Presley. That was really okay. sad and unexpected. Expected. Yeah. Is she Pris- was young. Isn't Priscilla Presley still alive? No idea. No, I shouldn't have said that. Family, I, don't know. I have not paid attention to. Yeah. David Crosby died, who I think is the biological father of Melissa Etheridge and her wife's children. I feel like that's a I thing I learned like you are really. Correct. Right? Does that sound true? That sounds true. I'm not going to look it up. I'll like, just stick with Melissa that. I know Melissa Etheridge used one of the Crosby, Still Nash, and Youngs as their biological father in my gut, says it's David Crosby, because everyone was like, have you seen him? But, you know, you know, not everybody is as superficial as I am. <laughs> uh, speaking of, Raquel Welch passed away, a uh, uh, model, mm-hmm. and that closes the door in January. Any over- okay. th- overall thoughts on January? Feels like a more innocent <laughs> time. <laughs> it No, that's exactly my thought, mm-hmm. which is... Oh, that's bad, whatever the stuff that was on the bad list you mentioned. Mm -hmm. But it got worse. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, So, mm -hmm. all right, carry on. Mm -hmm. There was a winter storm in Texas that killed eight people, you know, in Texas. In Texas. Where it's... Where people move for the winter storms. mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I'm sure, I'm sure Texas has overhauled their um, electricity grid since that and those of you who don't live in the United States or don't know <laughs> things about electrical grids, which to be fair should be everybody, besides the people who actively work on them, Texas for reasons has its own electricity grid that does not connect with the rest of the country. And it fails over and over. Constantly. And the reason has to do with big government, I want to say. Is that what it, it is? Just Greg right. Abbott doesn't. I, I think well, it has it's to do all of them, and it's been that way for years. For years, it's like but you know, it has you to don't do with... have to suffer when it's like yeah. the heat in the middle of summer in Texas. You could have air conditioning that yeah. actually works. Yeah, and they're like, no, we just rather let everything no, we're break. Good, actually, we like freezing to death in our homes in Texas. That's yeah. what we signed up for <laughs> here in the deep. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, he's. Um, do you remember the Chinese balloon that appeared over Montana? That was this year? That was this year. It was in Damn. February. Um, China said it was a civilian meteorological situation. Mm-hmm. Guess how many of those words I spelled correctly. <laughs> I'm in a Google sheet, so it doesn't do like doesn't correct things. <laughs> and also my um, keyboard was fucked for like the first three months. And so <laughs> if I get tied up, that's why. Um, do you remember the train derailment? In Ohio. In Ohio, yeah. That yeah. was bad. So um, this was this, and I think there was another derailment that kind of mm-hmm. kicked off a like, hey, maybe we should be paying attention to the structure of our trains. Mm-hmm. Um, but it uh, it was in Ohio. It burned. Uh, there was hazardous material it was carrying. It released hydrogen chloride and phos. Oh, I should have looked up what phosgene is. F O P H O S G. Yeah, it's not going to make it any better for me. <laughs> I don't yeah, know I guess it, <laughs> if I can't pronounce it, it's probably bad. No, that's what conservatives say. Shut up. <laughs> um, caused a mass, mass evacuation for I want to say it was a mile around the train derailment site. Uh, and later they found uh, three weeks later they found forty four thousand aquatic animals dead. Yeah, 
As one does. Luckily, none of them were on like a, a extinction <laughs> concern list. So like, yay. yay. <laughs> mm-hmm. Anyway, Nikki Haley announced her presidential run in February. Oh, that's, that's ending that soon too. Really? <laughs> her her campaign? Uh huh. Oh, it like. Just you think it's gonna or something has. Oh, happened. I mean, like last night they were <gasps> someone. Did you not see this? I haven't. I don't. Oh my god. Also, the okay. other thing, you guys, is I haven't been following the news for mental okay. health oh, reasons. Oh, I'm so excited to tell you this. Oh, great. Okay. No, I mean, clearly she's the only non-Trump candidate in the Republican Party who has any viability mm-hmm. in that mm-hmm. race. Last night, someone asked her at one of her town halls, like, "What caused the Civil War?" And you know what her answer did not include? Slavery. Slavery. And the dude literally says, and you can hear it even though there's no microphone in front of him, I can't believe it's like 2023 and your answer doesn't have slavery. He did not. Yeah, good for him, whoever that guy is. And now she's in damage control. Even Joe Biden's dunking on her on Twitter like it was slavery. (laughs) <laughs> so did she call it the war of Nor- northern aggression too? she actually even today as we are recording this she went on tv somewhere and she's like or she went to another town hall or something she's like you guys of course it was slavery but <laughs> she's so bad at this and she has no lane in the party yeah. she announced that candidacy but it's like well the trump voters don't like you because they think you're too liberal uh, liberals aren't going to vote for you Obviously. because you're still Nikki Haley yeah. and you're still awful. Mm-hmm. You're just less awful than the other awful people. Mm-hmm. And the only thing she has going for her is she sounds pragmatic. Yeah. But also her idea of like, let's be moderates on abortion. It's let's just do a ban that's at like six 12. minutes yeah. or whatever. <laughs> That's her idea um, of a moderate abortion yeah. ban. When when so. the zygote reaches sixteen cells, then it's banned. Yeah. Um, so so she announced it in February. She will end it in <laughs> February, by, almost by certainly. Oh, yeah. R.I.P. Um. So this no was one of value was lost in that campaign. <laughs> uh, so this is a really fucked up story, and I forgot that we talked about it on this show. A man in Utah murdered his uh, five children. And his wife. Oh, yeah. And his mother-in-law. Yeah. Um, because why? Oh, I don't remember the specific. The wife filed for oh, divorce, right. which resulted in a man killing her, her mother, Everybody. and her children, mm-hmm. which is reasonable. Mm-hmm. How did people remember the gentleman who also died during this incident? Was he a good Mormon man? Good Mormon man. Aww. So, Aww. honestly, the... Uh, this I do remember people getting mad. Oh, at big the bo- mad. At the obits. Big mad. Rightly so. Um, this year, it also, might this, the Garbage Year Review, the subtitle might be Why Jess is Afraid of White Men. So, <laughs> that's one of the entries into that. Got it. Um, anyway, another shooting, state, uh, shooting at Michigan State, shooting at a mall in Paso that kills three and one. A man in rural Mississippi killed six, including his ex-wife, and then just punched her new fiancé uh, in the face. Oh, so missed that. Yeah. Um, a man in Orlando shot two reporters, a nine-year-old girl, and her mother. So guns are cool. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, on to the good stuff. Did you know Beyoncé yeah. won her 32nd Grammy? Jesus. 32nd, and that makes her the... Winningest Grammy Award winner in uh, in history, um, defeating like oh god, it was like a Polish composer or something like oh, that. Wow. It was like this okay. very strange, uh, felt like because I'm that sure you unseated. can win like dozens of Grammys in those categories. Oh. No one pays attention to. Well, and also like <laughs> fucking movie soundtracks and things oh, like yeah. that. I'm sure they like do all that shit. So anyway, um, nice job, Beyonce. I'm sure she's a listener. Oh God, yeah. She <laughs> she often is really vocal about her opinions on politics and religion. Mm. Yes. <laughs> um first Tesla recall of the year happened in uh <laughs> but not in the last. February, not the last <laughs> indeed. Um and then Sam Smith and Kim Kim <clears throat> Petra's satanic Grammy performance. There's a lot of pearl clutching around that. Remember that? I do remember that. Yeah, lots of pearl clutching. Um, and then the song faded, and nothing happened as far as I mean. It was I'm an concerned. okay song. It really took. I mean, it was 
sort of like it was a la the the liberal version of the try that in a small town thing of <laughs> like yeah we're kind of baiting you guys yeah. <laughs> Like, it doesn't have to be that good. It can just be and controversial. And the small town song faded away after, like, a week, too. Absolutely. Because it's, Haven't again, heard from that guy in a oh, while. It's almost like when you write music that is, like, pointed at... Eh, no, that's not well, true. Well, when all the news stories revolve around the song... Sure, you get like, exhausted of it before yeah. even hearing it that way. And it's gone. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Um, all right. On to our first trivia question. Oh, God. Okay. Why did the SBC kick out the Saddle Br- Saddleback Church? Uh, the Southern Baptist Convention kicked out Saddleback because they have female pastors. That is correct, Hammond. Yeah. Congratulations. You should keep And score. to his credit, Rick Warren's like, yeah, we're keeping our pastors. I'm retiring. Bye. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if, you know what I don't remember is if they like appealed that decision or if they were trying to or they're just like, whatever. Like, we don't need you. We're fine. We're this church. <laughs> like, we're a giant mega church. The last thing we need is institutional support. Truly. It's the smaller churches that need it. So um, I don't really... I, I feel like the Southern Baptist Convention loses more from having kicked out Rick Warren's church yeah. than the other way around. It's just another self-inflicted wound by SBC leaders. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, it doesn't say if anybody... This is, I'm reading your article back to you, uh-huh. but it doesn't say if they... Um, or I the didn't appeal. see if they appealed it. It would have been later in the year. Oh, well, oh yeah, it wouldn't have I, happened immediately? Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Well, then but I, I think know. that's a done deal. They're out. Mm-hmm. And I don't think anyone's clamoring to jump back into the SBC right now. Yeah. the And we're going to get into a lot of population stuff, or um, statistical stuff that happened this year. Um, on to... Um, Are we at March? Deaths? No, we're on to oh, deaths on in deaths. February. Okay. Um, Burt Bacharach, who is... Oh. Just sort of one of the most ubiquitous people in my childhood. Burt Bacharach, I feel like there's a handful of people who I only kind of know from people doing impressions of them. Okay. So, like, when I think of Ross Perot, I don't think of the man Ross Perot. I think of (laughs) uh, Dana Dana Carvey Carvey doing Ross Perot, that kind of thing. And I think Will Ferrell used to do a Burt Bacharach act or one of those guys and like that's just sort of i just associate him with like crushed velvet tuxedos and like mustaches and sunglasses and cocaine and like ah, da, da, ba, ba, da, da. that's how i imagine okay. Burt Bacharach. i don't know if that's an accurate description um he's composed music since the 1950s according to oh he oh here we go he wrote walk on by that's a good one what the world needs now oh do you uh, know that song what the yes. world needs now Love, sweet love. What else? Anyway, that's Burt Bacharach. He died. Although he lived a very, very long life. How old is he? He's 95. Oh. He was married Not for bad. the last 30 years of his life, which is very nice mm-hmm. to see in here. Um, Richard Belzer also died. Do you know oh. who that is off the top? Actor, law, and... Law and order guy is how I have him written because yeah. I keep forgetting who he is. I'm not a law and order person, but that mm-hmm. kind of felt out of nowhere. That was sort of a bummer. He's just a very... Law and Order is just, again, so ubiquitous. I feel ubiquitous. like when the show is everywhere, of course he's alive. Look, he's on my yeah, TV yes, 23 exactly. hours a day. It's <laughs> exactly Same right. Same with Matthew Perry. It's like, oh, yes. Oh, God. Shocking, but he's on everywhere. I didn't know there was any problem. I was planning. Which makes I'm no sense. I know. you watching Friends. I might have to hold off. I'm <laughs> genuine. This is the first time ever that, like, like, I didn't cry, I don't think, but, like, I'm kind of really like deeply upset about it like it again friends was such an important thing in my life and i had such a crush on chandler because i hated myself Uh um it anyway we'll get to that when we get to him all right on to march our good friend chat gpt debuted and Um. ruined everybody's life Mm -hmm. uh kansas passed a bill to ban trans athletes in girls sports oh sorry two people in kansas that the republicans tried to hurt Ugh. Uh, Republicans in the state House of Representatives voted to expel two Democrats. Uh, just in Tennessee. In ten- what did I say? Oh, yeah. Republicans in the state House of Representatives in Tennessee. Yeah. Um, yep. Expelled two Democrats. The for- only part of that that makes me laugh uh, to fight gun control. Mm-hmm. They were for gun safety and mm-hmm. they're like, how dare you sully the house by protesting in the house? But they're like, you guys. We can't just kick out two black guys when we're all white. And they're like, well, don't worry. We're all going to kick out one Democratic woman as well. (laughs) And then 
the Democrat, the Democratic woman who's white did not get expelled like the other two guys. And they're all like, we have made a horrible mistake now. Guys. Hilarious how incompetent in terms of PR these people are. By the way, that woman is now running for senator in Tennessee against uh, Marsha Blackburn. Uh, She won't win, but it's like, yeah, good. Go, go try. Yeah, that's great. All right. Um, (laughs) Okay, another trivia question. A Texas lawmaker filed a bill to reduce or eliminate property taxes for whom? Oh, for families like the Duggars. Uh huh. <laughs> of, do you remember how many kids? Was it like if you if you have ten kids? It's four or more children. Four or more. Which is frankly too many children. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. That uh. It's a really subtle uh subtle use of racism and Christian nationalism. <laughs> I like it. We'll um, reward you for having 10 kids. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely what we need is more uneducated white people. We're doing <laughs> great. Um, okay, on to good shit. The DOG finds reasonable cause to believe that the Louisville co- cops you violated... Say DOG? D- Try again. You guys, I'm so tired. I am amused. I'm so tired. No, tell the me what DOJ, the dog did. Fuck you. Um, the DOG... <laughs> so bad. Finds reasonable cause to believe that Louisville cops violated cit- um, citizen civil rights after an investigation into the m- murder of uh, Brianna Taylor, mm-hmm. which is good news. Mm-hmm. It's not great news, but it's fine news. Uh, everything Everywhere All at Once sweeps the Oscars. Michelle Yeoh becomes the first Asian person to win Best Actress. Mm-hmm. It's very exciting. Did you see? No, you didn't see anywhere. I did once. see it. I didn't care for it. I don't care for most of these movies. No. I did appreciate that the letters of her name, I'm telling you, as someone who writes crosswords, oh, Y-E-O-H <laughs> is a godsend. <laughs> it fixes so many problems uh. in the corners of the grid. <laughs> How many? <laughs> Which uh, is really the nerdiest way to appreciate that movie. How many of your crossword puzzles problems would be solved if you could use cuss words? <laughs> Several. Yeah. <laughs> four letter words yeah. sounds amazing. Mm-hmm. You're telling me there are more four letter <laughs> words I could be using when there is some low key actress, not Michelle Yeoh. She like that movie An got Oscar Oscars. Winner. Yeah. Like. Uh, but random people in low budget films like, who have weird names mm. like spellings and stuff. It's like, yes, become famous, please. Oh, I can't think of his first name, but Yoon from uh, Walking Dead and from Nope. Uh, fuck, what's his first name? Steven anyway, Yoon. Steven Yoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel Same like that's thing. another like, although you is probably not. Anyway, who cares? Shut <laughs> up, Jessica. Um, oh, okay. New I've, puzzle drops in three weeks. <laughs> 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 so. What do you think about these government bans on TikTok? Because in March... It's not going to work. They did it in what? Montana? Idaho? Somewhere? Well, the first one happened in Britain that I found. Oh. That it banned TikTok on government devices, which oh, I didn't know. I whatever. thought they were trying to do like blanket bans, which I think they're doing it. I mean, go in ahead. Montana. Do it in the government. No one cares because sure. you people can't use it. But they tried to do it in like Montana or somewhere for kids. Yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah. It's banned across state, which didn't work. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's not going to. And even if you succeeded, that's a gift to Democrats, no matter how many Democrats are on board with yeah. uh, all the problems with TikTok and China owning it yeah. and it's spying on you or it knows what you're looking up online or whatever it is. Everything knows what I'm looking um, up online. Yeah, exactly. Of all the problems, that's, yeah. that seems low priority. But mm. again, that's not a tech perspective. That's a this PR is not going to work for you because... You're just making kids angry. Yeah, and like those little shits are better at technology than we can ever hope to be, and they're seven. So I don't think ban- like trying to keep kids away from a technology thing is really the move here. Yeah. Uh, okay. Also, they will find a new way to download it. Trust me. That's what I'm saying. Like, like you can't tell a 14 year old that you can't download something. We had fucking LimeWire when we were 14. <laughs> yeah. we, children are lawless on the internet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, um, Oh, more uh, classified documents were found in Pence's house in Indianapolis, which I just love. Makes me so very happy. Um, Five women sue Texas after being denied access to the abortion pill, Hmm. uh, which is good news. (laughs) Okay, do you remember the tornado in L.A.? (laughs) No. So in March, there it, everyone was like, listen, a tornado is about to hit <laughs> L.A. And of course, every podcast I listen to is based out of L.A. So it was just all people were talking. 
<laughs> and then the following week, they're like, yeah, it got kind of like foggy. And that was sort <laughs> of it. It was just nothing. There's going to be a snowstorm yeah, here. That's exactly. Half an inch later. Yes, that is exactly. It, and as someone from Chicago, I love hearing about your snow calamity. Truly. Of half an inch. Mm-hmm. Can but you yes, imagine? Point taken. Yep. Uh, <laughs> uh, the Eras tour starts. Taylor Swift's yeah. uh, big thing. Mm-hmm. I can't remember her t- ticket mess. Controversy was. happened in this year or last year. It's every year, but yeah, it hit yeah. with hers because if Taylor Swift is trying to sell tickets, yeah. no one's going to be able to get them. Did you know that they, they being in the FTC, maybe are looking into like fees? Like, you know, when you buy, like, Ticketmaster, for example, sure. there's, like, a bajillion fees that are just indiscriminate. I don't and, like, know. I don't go out. But, yes, I know what you're talking about. Like, they'll whatever the cost of the ticket is, yeah. it's way more what's than the, that. What's the last thing you bought a ticket for, excluding, like, a movie planes somewhere. and a movie? Do not remember. Like, a performance that you went to. It's been years. Weird. I do not remember. I guess... Speech doesn't count. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. All right. Um, oh, one of my favorite um, Q1 stories was Gwyneth Paltrow temporarily becoming like our hero when that dude sued her. Oh, over skiing? Over ski. Like he was like, oh, she recklessly hurt me and now I'm whatever. And it was obviously a frivolous lawsuit. I I actually kind of respect her for not settling. I think that's like (laughs) respectable and like, oh, it was like the low stakes nature (laughs) of it. Because it wasn't like the Jenny Deb Amber Heard trial. That was painful and sad. This was just like, what are we doing? Like, is this how the other half lives? (laughs) It seems great. Can I really have a different pair of prescription glasses every day of the week? (laughs) I didn't know that was an option. I thought you had the one pair. I have no idea what you're talking about, but I am you amused. D- it was by just that. they filmed the whole thing, and she was just so like, pl- like she put on the role of like serious business lady <laughs> with glasses. You run goop. Uh, it was great. Okay. It was great. Okay. Um. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Kay. Another question. What did a woman say? Regrew. During a prayer service. Her toes. I can't believe you remember that. It's one of my favorites. It was so funny. And I know that because I didn't see any pictures. Still have She didn't post any. Why? She just said her toes regrew in church. And everyone, and the church kept promoting that. Like, look what happens when you pray. Your toes like, come back. Do you think they are implying that, like, we can heal your wounds or... Extra toes. <laughs> <laughs> Heal your wounds. But also the church has a habit of saying that stuff. Yeah. And my favorite part about that story is I, I don't remember if it was only me that posted about it, but I'm pretty sure I helped in this particular case. Mm. But that actually made news in local news, in national outlets, because they're like, look what these crazy ass people are saying. And the church couldn't back up any of this. Of course they couldn't. Of course. But it was so How funny to watch them get called out on their bullshit for once. Because, again, they're not the only church that pretends miracles happen. Uh, but it was amusing to see one of these churches that says miracles happen actually get asked, so can you prove this miracle happened since you're bragging about it on, okay. in church? And they're like, what? How could you ask us such a question? I have my new favorite comparison. And I just came up with it while I wasn't listening to you talk. Uh-huh. <laughs> Do you know what kayfabe is? The fakeness of it all. Yeah, so like... It's, wrestling. It, it's wrestling. So the idea is like kayfabe is sort of like being in character in the narrative. Like basically everybody in a wrestling arena is part of like a fake narrative. We're that all we're in all doing. It. Yeah, we're yep. all in it. We know it's all choreographed. We know it's about winners and losers. Mm-hmm. But like it's fun. Yeah. Right? And yeah. that's fine with me. Yeah. I don't give a shit. Like I think they it's don't cosplay. treat those guys we're great. We're all having a Maybe good time. Maybe we should be more worried about... Head trauma, <laughs> but fighting with my family was an outstanding movie. Florence Pugh is a genius, um, but I think that can be laid on to the Christian community because I think it's somebody like this kind of breaks kayfabe of like, no, we're not supposed to say that. Like, we we can't say something that can be proven or disproven. You can only claim something that nobody can either, n- you can neither prove nor disprove. Like, you have to stay in character with us. So, like. 
I think it would be the same thing of like, oh, now I can fly. Like, no, 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 that's not what we're saying. (laughs) We're saying like my back doesn't hurt anymore Uh or my knee doesn't hurt anymore. You can't claim something. That's stepping outside of like the kayfabe that we've all decided on. And I I was just listening to... Church is a shared delusion. As soon as you break out of that and other people see your weird little video where the lady's like, I can stand on my tippy toes now. uh, The... The whole facade breaks down. Yeah, I just listened to, and I'd really highly recommend it. Um, Ona Ross and Carrie is doing a um, a series on a woman whose name I cannot think of right now. Would you mind? No, it doesn't matter. Um, but she's a faith healer, and they are they went to one of her like mm. performances or or whatever. That's the right word for yeah. it. Yeah, and they talked so much about. You know, there it, it's the idea of when you see a faith healer, you collapse, whatever. Yeah. That's that we, what Their we've been trained. Peer pressure is mm-hmm. what's pushing you over, not the yeah. energy of God. And going and they're going through like each of these people and talking about like, and then she like checked behind her before she fell, or she fell before the oil even hit her, or like people kind of fuck shit up. Yeah, and we're all supposed to ignore it because like we're all in this shared delusion. And I just really like thinking about that now of, of it's sort of kayfabe. That's what church is. Adjacent. I like it. Anyway. Um, all right. Deaths in March. Um, do you know who Robert Blake is? Is that somebody, you know, he's a killer of some sort actor. Wow. Yeah. I don't know specifics. Uh, so he's actually a former little rascal. (laughs) No, really? That's why he's famous? I did not know that. I actually just remembered that. I forgot. Um, Because I know him from... Oh, shit. Is it Lost Highway? If Mikey comes up, I'll have to ask him. I think it's Lost Highway. Uh Uh, David uh, David Lynch movie. It is Lost Highway. Um, And he has one of the scariest scenes I have ever seen. And just a, like, horrible... Daddy... Daddy, <laughs> go up. on. The dog will it, be it, it's, it's he shows up at this party in this scene with Bill Pullman. I think Bill Pullman or the other one. I have who, no idea what we're talking about anymore. I'm talking about Robert Blake in this scene. Yes, and he's like his face is like stark white. Okay, and he walks up to Bill Pullman. This is in the '90s, and he's like, "I'm at your house right now." Well, that's creepy. And he's like, what are you talking about? And then he hands him a phone and says, call your house. <laughs> and so he calls his house on like one of those giant like brick cell phones, yes. calls his house and Robert Blake answers it while he's like standing there like smiling at him. <laughs> like, Hello. it is so deeply unsettling. Uh, it's it's very good. But he also murdered his wife. So um, and he was let off. For bad reasons, and I don't remember if they are bad as in like underhanded and illegal and like bribing, or bad because law enforcement is bad. I don't know. Anyway, he died. Uh, um, no love lost there, I guess. Okay. Um, you know who? Uh, do you remember Lance Reddick? Reddick, excuse me, Lance Reddick. No. He is. You saw Lost, yeah? Yes. Do you remember the tall, creepy no. black guy? He kind of shows up in places Soon and like looks. Soon as I hated looks. the ending, I just wiped the oh, yeah. entire <laughs> Honestly, show fair. into the memory hole. Mikey and I rewatched Lost um, during the early, uh, actually, coincidentally, along with our very good friends Jeff and Leslie, um, rewatched Lost, and boy, it gets so fucking bad by the end. But anyway, <laughs> um, uh, Lance Lance Reddick was also in The Wire. I think he's probably more well known for that, but I don't like The Wire. Um, he passed away, I, I think, relatively young in his 50s. He was a a really good performer. Like, just had a lot of gravitas to him. Like, again, in Lost, he just would, like, be somewhere and look at somebody. I'm like, well, that's the scariest thing I've ever seen in my fucking life, dude. Very good. Anyway, that's March. Get off your fucking phone, Hannah. Uh-huh. No, shut up. Looking uh, up these people. Oh, are you? I am not. You, you are <laughs> a fucking liar. You guys, he's on his phone every time I talk. It's really <laughs> disappointing. Okay, uh... April. Why did I say it like that? Shut up, Jessica. Uh, Florida bans abortions after six weeks. Uh, another mass shooting. Man shot and killed five coworkers at a bank in Louisville. Mm-hmm. Um, the House passed a bill to ban trans women in sports, which is U.S. House or a U.S. House right. uh, failed in the Senate. Yeah. Um, 
really happy that we're doing really important work yeah. in the uh, in the House of Least Representatives. Least productive house in, in a his- long time or history. I can't remember I which one. Um, there was a a spate of tornadoes that hit uh, Oklahoma, Iowa, Kansas. That was pretty gnarly. Um, and we are on two. We have three questions. Okay. Three trivia questions. Right. Four. Three bad ones. Okay. Okay. How would State Senator Mark Steffen of Kansas address his non-Christian constituents? Oh, I don't remember this one. He would try to convert them. No, oh, well, that tracks. <laughs> Uh-huh. He when when questioned whether or not he could represent other people besides Christians because he was a Christian, uh-huh. somebody said, "What would you say?" And he's like, "Oh, I just convert him, <laughs> so it wouldn't be a problem." So uh, that makes him the forty seventh worst <laughs> representative <laughs> in Kansas. Uh, okay, this one feels like a bit of a gimme. Why did B Hayes get kicked out of their prom in Nashville? Well, I'm going to go with. The pronoun you just used. Yeah, well, yeah, that was sort of a dead giveaway. (laughs) Um, Because uh, B. Hayes was wearing a tuxedo, and And according to the school, they they needed to wear a dress. Uh I appreciate (sighs) that they made a big, not a big, they posted a picture and said, I got kicked out of prom or whatever. It's like, thank you for actually making a big deal out of this because people need to know what's going on. Yeah, and like I'm sure I said then, like, these kids know how to fucking market themselves, which is arguably not great at all, but, you know, kids are fucking savvy and know what they're doing. All right. Missouri State Senator Mike Moon. He thinks 12 years old is too young to know how their gender, no, for a kid to know their gender, but old enough for what? Get married? Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> these monsters. Was he trying to, like, stop a bill to ban child marriage or something? No, or he, he was... he just said that out of nowhere? Well, he was attending a debate <laughs> <laughs> about trans issues uh-huh. and kind of got cornered into being like, but Oof. this, so... So that was neat. Uh-huh. All right. All right. Back to the good shit. Another Elon Musk story. Ugh. SpaceX. Did it fail yet? Well, in April, the rocket exploded minutes after takeoff. That's right. And then we cackled for longer than the flight lasted. (laughs) It's so weird. Like, I want it to succeed because I like space and I like space exploration. Mm -hmm. And also, that's friggin' hilarious. My pettiness. Same thing with electric cars. If Tesla goes down, it's like, yes. Go down, fail miserably, but also I want electric cars, and it seems like that's a good one. I yeah, I feel, or, or it could be a good one <laughs> if good one. he was not part of it. You know, and if it didn't explode and run into kids or whatever it does, well, whatever. Know. Um, oh boy, Schadenfreude is really the mm. only emotion that's gotten me through this miserable year. I think my favorite thing about his whole story arc this year mm? is how many people figured out, wait, this guy's just a hype man. He doesn't actually have the skills to run anything. He just convinced a bunch of other rich people he's very good at everything. Instead, he just picks certain areas and he's very bad at running businesses. Very bad at everything. And also, uh, I think more importantly, he's very bad at surrounding himself with people who can guide him. Mm. He just thinks he's the fucking smartest and won't defer to anybody. It's very Trumpian yeah. in that way, in my yeah. opinion. And I think, like Trump, he could have had a very luxurious life out of the public spotlight. And just be a rich douchebag that nobody talks about. But instead... God, I say that about so many rich douchebags. Uh, like, truly. All like, you have to do is be rich and do nothing else. All you have to do is retire and, like, I don't know, like, uh, go start a charity. Or not. I don't give a shit. No, just retire. Yeah, just, just go, go find your island somewhere. We there don't are many. need your help. <laughs> we don't want it. Um... Oh, okay. This I did not know. NASA named, um, they're doing another manned mission, a manned lunar mission. Okay. Uh, not to land yet, but to uh, do orbit a, Mars or orbit something. Orbit Mars, I think, mm-hmm. or pass by or whatever. Um, names a team of four, including a white woman and a black man. Oh, good. Which was a, I think, a very deliberate choice on, the, on behalf of NASA to obviously diversify because. 
these kinds of things. Like, truly. You have options. It's not like they're underqualified. I'm shocked they haven't sent a brown dude into space. No, Y'all India, love math. India landed on the moon this year. Did they? Yeah. Boy, I should start following the news For again, a country eh? with 98% engineers. I mean, <laughs> it was a very exciting time for my people. That was funny. That was a good one. <laughs> I remember I was at Chris Kindle Market a billion years ago when a buddy of mine was wearing a Purdue sweatshirt and it was uh-huh. really crowded. And I just heard a stranger go, follow that guy. It's probably an engineer. <laughs> <laughs> it was nice. just really good. Nice. Uh, okay. Um, uh, bop, bop. Oh, what I was going to say is like, I, I think them acknowledging how important diversity is because like the whole, if you see it, you can be it thing is truly important and changes people's lives in a significant way. Yeah. Um, Brandon Johnson became the new mayor of Chicago. That was exciting. Uh, what I really liked about it is be- is that the let's go Brandon uh-huh. thing got very messy. <laughs> like, because Brandon Johnson is a Democrat and uh, let's go Brandon is a fuck Joe Biden thing. So I like it because if you don't follow Chicago politics at all, mm. uh, he wasn't even in the running for real to be the next mayor. There was a rich conservative Democrat who was like, I got this. I got all the rich people on my side. Mm -hmm. And then Brandon Johnson barely makes like the runoff. Mm -hmm. And then he beats the rich conservative Democrat that even all the sitting like house members, senators all endorsed. Uh, And I mean, he's running into the same problems any mayor would run into, but he's not like Eric Adams saying stupid shit every day. Uh Uh-huh. So, well, and I think what's significant about that is Lori Lightfoot, who is a former mayor did not even make the runoff. Which was significant, like her not even yeah, being yeah. in the runoff. I think her exact quote is, Brendan Johnson will never be mayor. And then She did not say she that. She literally Can't said that. Be- All right, moving over to Washington State. <clears throat> they banned the death penalty and, did not know this was still a thing we could do, forced sterilization as criminal oh. punishments. Wow, good, yay. Also, yeah. that was on the also, books. Also, yikes. Okay. <laughs> Um, shockingly, SCOTUS protects access to the abortion bill, hmm. which was a pleasant surprise. What did they say yes to? I don't in remember. that part of the I year? I didn't link to this one. Okay. Sorry. Uh, okay, next question. Because I know they <laughs> overturned. Well, no, oh, they honestly, overturned they... it last year, but I don't know what they upheld Yeah. now. Who knows for sure. Okay. I didn't do good research. I'm a bad journalist. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Here's your next question, Hammett. Ba-da-da. Okay. What percentage of Americans born after 1996 are religiously unaffiliated? Ooh. Or born after 96? Mm-hmm. So it's got to be like Gen half. Z. It is half. It's 48%. Okay. Nice job. Yay. All right. Deaths. <clears throat> All right. Here's Religion, one. apparently. Uh, that was a good one. Um, Harry Belafonte died. Oh. Now, I am embarrassed to say that what I knew of Harry Belafonte was a K- A. Kick ass name. <laughs> B. Damn. Yeah, that's all I. The song. End of I list. Knew. I knew he had a whole civil rights yeah, history. Yeah, he was a, a civil rights activist and uh, apparently an incredible man. And I wish I had known that. And I wish hmm. history classes were better and taught me about people like that. Uh, also, Jerry Springer died. Oh, that's right. Take care of yourself. Yeah. And yeah. each other. That was how he ended every Jerry Springer thing. Uh, was Robert Blake in Lost Highway? <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. I got it right. Mikey's yeah. up here. For Jerry Springer, when I had my college orientation, we, I went to a school in the city of Chicago. Our college freshman orientation <laughs> involved going to see a taping of Are Springer. Are you fucking kidding me? It wasn't a great college. <laughs> <laughs> what class? Or wait, was it a class? Or no, like it was the, the university. whole school. This, this wasn't De- was it DePaul? No. Oh, that's where you got your master's, right? <laughs> yeah. No, this is like undergrad, like, Where'd wow, you know? we have a week at University of Illinois. It's what? like, where, what are we going to do for uh, the week of orientation? They're like, well, well, we'll take y'all to Springer. It's in Chicago. So we went, and it was disturbing. And Wait, did you go to UIC? Yeah. Or y- oh, okay, I was yeah. thinking. Uh, uh, Not Champaign-Urbana Champaign with the sports. <laughs> nope. With the sport? I went to the school that has... No sports. No sports. Or tries to have sports, but does not. Does not do I'm it. Not even, I'm not even dissing it. Like, 
I got my degree and then I'm out. I have close friends from there. That's and that's about all it was good for. It was fine. Uh, I remember when I was picking colleges, this, the Michelle Branch song Everywhere was really mm. popular. And part of the thing is, when I close my eyes, it's, it's you, you. I see. I yeah, see. we heard that joke. Oh, yeah. did you? Oh, so oh, when I was knew. 16, I didn't come up with that? Yeah, no. That's weird. Nope, we cause... all knew it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize I would touch a nerve with this one. <laughs> okay. Moving on to May, a Russian airstrike killed 25 uh, Ukrainians. Mm -hmm. King Charles III was crowned, which the more Mm. I think about it, the more I'm just sort of embarrassed for everybody (laughs) involved. (laughs) Like, are you guys fucking... still doing this? Yes, exactly. Like, I don't know. uh, It's just, I get that they want tradition and the pageantry. And to some extent, I think pageantry is fine. And and celebrating dumb, frivolous shit is fine. Yeah, we do it all the time. We do it all the time. But and we're totally allowed to make fun of every how everyone else celebrates their pageantry. The, I don't know. I don't know. I just think maybe it's not something. Maybe we've outgrown it as a culture. I, don't know. I have enjoyed seeing all these countries that were technically colonies of Britain. Like, you know what? We don't want this anymore. And <laughs> what is what is the king supposed to do? Like, yeah, all right. No, I mean, we can't fight come you. Back. <laughs> I just, it just felt like such an opportunity to say, and and maybe it'll happen when Charles dies. Maybe he wasn't the right, you know, in in, in he wasn't the right era. Yeah. Like if William c- becomes president, mm-hmm. I I wonder King, if they yeah. will they yeah, take yeah, it yeah. as an opportunity to be like, okay, no. listen, I will be king, yeah. but this is what it's going to look 100% like. Hundred percent, they will not do. You that. don't think? No. I mean, even after um, there's too much Harry and the other one. Oh, yeah. No, none of that matters. As someone who follows none of this, the answer is... Since when do you have a strong opinion about the (laughs) monarchy? I mean, the monarchy is not going to end because the monarchy says, let's end it. Yeah, I guess... It'll end after, like, lawmakers say, we're not giving you any money anymore, and it just slowly... It's a vestigial thing that just kind of fades away, and no one thinks about it. Yeah, that's fair. I saw the first few seasons of The Crown. I (laughs) I understand the pressures that they are under. Um... Oh, God. Okay. This is one of the worst stories of the year, and that is okay. saying something. Um, oh, I didn't write down where, it's, uh, where it took place. But a family asked their neighbor to stop firing rounds off in his yard because it was waking up their baby. Mm. And so he killed them all. Sure. Yes. Normal story in the United States. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. I didn't even tell you this. Um God, what day was it? It was Friday. It was last Friday. Um, my my student, Mia, uh, goes to Wheaton, one of the Wheaton high schools. Mm-hmm. She got stuck in lockdown during her finals because the bar nearby, there somebody got shot Jesus. over. Are you ready for what? it? Leftover pizza. Jesus. At so, nine in the morning. We don't live in Florida. Like... Are you fucking kidding me, people? Like, this is this is the world, people? Oh, fuck. Okay. Um, so, yeah, that was terrible. Um, a car ran... Do you remember when the car ran down a group of people at a bus stop near a homeless shelter? My- I do not, and yet that sounds totally... N- it was in Texas. Does that help clarify mm. things? Doesn't um, change what I thought it was going to be. I... Uh, I feel like I can feel myself go, I would say at like mm, 12.30 p.m. when I was like three hours into this thing, I was not doing well mentally and I can feel myself going back down. Yeah, I can imagine. I really could have not done all of these shootings, but it felt important at the time and now I'm stubborn. Yeah. (laughs) I think I can bully myself out of depression, which is healthy. Uh Uh-huh. Okay. uh, Eight people got shot in a mall north of Dallas. Um... Nebraska passes a bill to restrict gen- gender affirming medical care and ban abortion after 12 weeks. Mm. Uh, mm. A man kills three and injures two in a Missouri nightclub, which marks the 250th mass shooting of the year in May. In May. So things are going well. Mm-hmm. Uh, DeSantis decides to run for president. That, you know what? 
That is a happy news story because he totally thought he was going to run away with this nomination. He really? And he's so did. bad at everything. I The question still... is when he's going to drop out. Ugh. Now, well, I didn't think he would flame out this quickly. Um, I We're going to talk about the first Republican debates, and I want to talk a little uh-huh. bit about the upcoming uh, Republican side of things. Mm-hmm. Um, ay, ay, ay. Um, have I said, who is the former... Rick Scott, was that the former he was, governor? Yeah. Who was bald? Yeah. Voldemort, I, yes. I still imagine DeSantis as him because mm. I, I did not see a picture of him. And when I heard Florida <laughs> governor, I imagined Voldemort. Yeah. So I still, and like, I haven't seen the uh, Rick Scott in so long. So now it's in my head. He's like a mix between Voldemort. They're all the same. They just have different amounts of hair. Actually, that's fair. But he's like a mix between Voldemort and like Baltimore. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Baltimore. Rubio's the same though as those other guys, is and has Rubio better still hair. Around? He's still around. He's still the senator. He does have a good head of hair, doesn't he? Right. Credit where credits do. Okay. Um. Oh boy. Maybe the most obnoxious uh self own comes from HBO, which becomes Max. <laughs> and everybody That's was mad about rebranding. it. And then. Um, I think one of the more insidious things that sort of uh, kicked off the writer strike, and I'm not sure if a lot of people know about this, um, but have you noticed that uh, digital content has been removed from streaming platforms? You just can't find it anywhere? Shows, movies, things in like general, that? In general, yes. I know that happens. I, this is a conversation we have in my house all the time. If my kids want to watch something and it's like, where is it on? I'm mm-hmm. like, I'll look it up. And the answer is, oh, here's a new thing I've never heard of that well, it's use, on, which means I would it went hi- off of Netflix or whatever. I would highly recommend uh, the app Just Watch. You can just boop in the oh, movie really? and it'll Tells give you, you everywhere it's streaming yeah, and how much it is, helpful. which is super helpful. Mm-hmm. Um, but anyway. Uh, and the answer oh, oh. is none of that matters because you could pirate everything. <laughs> Truly, like, I, I've i never been anti-pirating, but I've always been like, uh, I feel like I want to, like, make sure people are getting their due. It's just my Let's stupid give your half morals. a cent to Fuck the producer. Off. Listen, I'm j- <laughs> we have to have some kind of moral line, Hemet. Yes. Um, but, A, if I can't find it anywhere, I have zero problems pirating it. B, <laughs> Hemet has gotten me quite a few television shows. Uh <laughs> Anyway, uh, sorry, BBC. Um, <laughs> but um, beep up, boo. What was I saying? Oh, so what they have been doing is just fully pulling things off streaming. Like, for right. example, so if HBO Max owns something, they the, have the exclusive rights to stream it, they will pull it. Do you know why? Why do you think they... Is it a tax write-off or something? It's not a tax write-off, oh. but it's close. Why? Because they don't want to pay residuals. Oh. Mm-hmm. And to me, and like... So now no one gets to watch it. A, yes. This is very much like when, like, oh, God, it's nothing like this, but it, it calls to mind the idea of pools shutting down in the American South in the 1960s because they didn't want to <laughs> integrate, of like, fuck you, nobody's going to swim. Like, mm. it just, just fucking cutting off your nose to spite your own face. Um, and it's just... If you've ever heard anybody who works in the entertainment residuals uh, and entertainment industry, the residuals are like 60 cents. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, I'm not kidding. They that come in part like of the writer strike was watching some of these writers show their residual yeah. checks and why they were fighting and why they were striking. And it's like, I wrote like the hit, biggest hit show mm-hmm. on Netflix. Here's my $3 check. And they are arguing that I'm getting too much money off right, it. Right. Like, it's just. I just don't understand how these corporations... We made a $90 million movie. None of you are going to see it. But how do... Taxes. No, well, that was the... <laughs> there's an Acme movie or some like oh, Looney yeah. Tunes movie yes, that is done. Is. And they're like, no. Nah. Yeah. Bat Girl 2 or Cat Girl Yeah, Woman. it's yeah. just... It's so... I guess I just don't understand how people at the top think they can keep villainizing the people who make the shit they sell and keep getting away with it. Like, how can you be like, oh, fuck writers and actors and directors? Like, <laughs> those are the people who make the thing you sell. That's right. like being like, oh, fuck karma. Oh, wait, they say fuck car mechanics. T- oh, yeah, just rich people are evil. <laughs> Sorry, I found it again. Yep. <laughs> um, where was I? 
Nebraska, gender affirming care, ban abortion. Yes, yes. Man kills three, injures two, Missouri nightclub. Oh, 250. Got it. DeSantis. We got to DeSantis. Max. That's where we were. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's the end of bad shit in May. Um, okay. Good. Uh, is it good shit? The who declared the, uh, the who? The <laughs> World Jessica. Health Organization. Yes. Uh, declared that COVID is no longer a global health emergency. Is that, that's a good thing? Or does it mean we're not going to get proper medical support yeah, that's for a good something question. that's still happening? I'm sure I people- feel like it's very much a global health emergency still, just yeah. no one wants to do it again. Well, also, this was back in, yeah, this was back in May, and I feel like the winter, huh, I guess that's just going to be how it is, isn't it? Mm. 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 Um, oh, this is an interesting news story that I had never thought about. Um, in Austria, there has been, put your phone down, there's yes. been a long, uh, long debate about what to do with the house where Hitler was born. <laughs> really? It's been years from my understanding. Okay. They finally decided what to do with it. They're going to use it as a human rights training center. Oh. Isn't that great? That is good. Isn't that a good piece of business? It's like turning a church into a skate park, which some churches have done. Well, not on purpose. Oh, that's kind of fun. But yeah. Take something that's harming people and turn it into mm-hmm. something enjoyable. Yeah, I love it. Okay. Um, Colorado Governor Jared Polis? Yep. Is that it? Yep. Uh, he signed a bill increasing the, increasing the age to buy a gun from 18 to 21 and established a three-day minimum waiting period for gun deliveries. It's the least he can do. Least that's he what's can in do. his power. Yep. Least he can do, Yeah. Um, Trump was found guilty of sexually abusing E. Jean Carroll in 1996, which was great news. Um, he was found liable. Yes. For that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that one is still going on, I think. Uh, he is. In some he sued her for slander, I think. <laughs> which I'm sure is going to go great because uh-huh. he knows what slander is. That's mm-hmm. uh, in the last 10 years. What I've learned is Trump definitely knows what slander is. <laughs> he knows he, what crimes are, too. He just wants to delay until maybe he can be president again. Then he just pretends nothing ever happened. Mm-hmm. Pardon himself. Whatever. All right. Um, uh, North Carolina tried to ban abortions um, after 12 weeks. It was vetoed by the governor. Great news. Um, tech executives, I didn't know about this, were called to the, I feel like fucking Jimmy Fallon. I'm like, I'm here about, did you guys hear about this? Uh, <laughs> did you hear about this? I don't need to do that anymore. Um, tech executives were called to the White House and instructed to safeguard the public from risks posed by artificial intelligence. Yeah. Which is, which shows a, uh, heretofore unseen level of foresight by the White House. <laughs> White House didn't call that one though, did they? Biden. Like, Biden did? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Minnesota legalized weed, which coincidentally, I also visited Minnesota in (laughs) May. It's a coincidence. I can buy my own weed. Thank you very much. Um, The Renaissance Tour started. This is Beyonce. Beyonce, Mm -hmm. My friend Leslie, uh, second time she's come up, saw (laughs) she and her girlfriend saw it. And she was like vibrating for weeks. So apparently it was an outstanding show. Um, Danny Masterson oh. from that 70s show mm-hmm. was convicted of raping two women in, I think, 2003. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, this is a really fun incident of celebrities showing their whole entire asses. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's his co stars, except for like one, was like. I think Topher Grace was the only one who was like, mm, I'm not going to put my hands on this yeah. at all. And Mylon Kunis but. and Ashton Kutcher, who, who have a pretty decent reputation yeah. as like human beings, were like, he was so nice to us. And it's like, And guys, wrote a letter boo! to the judge to be yeah. lenient. Boo. Boo, and boo, that boo. that came back to bite him in the ass. Why would you do that? Separate yourself. Uh-huh. Like, I understand where that instinct comes from, but guys, yeah. read the room. Uh, all right. Now I have two trivia questions. Okay. Okay. In May. Uh, shit, was it 2020 or was it CNN? Oh, 60 Minutes. Six uh, in mm-hmm. in May. Sixty Minutes does a report on the LDS Church, mm-hmm. and it's reportedly more than one hundred and fifty billion dollars in assets, mm-hmm. and how nobody really knows what's going on with that money. Right now, Christopher Waddell, who is one of the three men in charge of their finances, gave a litany of excuses as to why a they had so much money. And B, nobody should know anything about it. 
Mm-hmm. Can you name any one of these excuses? Bonus points for any additional ones. For why they are... For why they need $150 billion. Rainy day fund. Mm-hmm. Missionary work. Wait, hold on, hold e- on. Economic downturn. Sorry, your fucking website has a pop-up, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. My site does not. I don't. It, use it's just like it, no. It's just like a. Uh, do you want to sign up for this thing? You and better sign up for it. I absolutely it's do not sign. Free. Yeah, but it crowds my inbox. Oh my god! And I am an inbox zero person. Oh. Well, at least unread. It's very uh-huh, important to uh-huh. me. Okay, 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 okay. So you said, what did you say? Economic downturn, rainy day fund, missionary work. Um, uh, gotta protect all the sexual abusers in the church too. Right? <laughs> What else do they use the money for? Funding their own musical to counter the Book of Mormon. <laughs> so he said, uh, one of the reasons is that uh, they were able to, b- the church had enough resources to bail out one of their companies during 2008 and 2009. Well, so you got to save that for Yes. Like, um, they invested in a mall. <laughs> <laughs> really looking ahead to the future there. Um, I can't share with you right now. <laughs> Um, he also said, uh, so give us a sense of what percentage of money is going out the door. Right. Cause they're supposed to be sent. This is tithe money. They're supposed to be spending it on like charity and helping others. To be honest, we, we've never looked at it as, it as a percentage. We looked at it based on needs to make sure that we're comfortable with how many years worth years worth we have in case of financial difficulties, in case of financial crisis, to make sure we can continue church operations. Mm-hmm. Answer, billions of years. <laughs> it's true. Like, you'll They're be like, fine. We will be funded through the heat death of the universe. <laughs> we don't feel like it's being secret. We feel like it's being con- confidential. Oh, yeah, yeah. Don't <laughs> um, just ignore all these shell companies we set up to hide all these transactions. We have to maintain the focus on what our purpose is and what the mission of the church is. Mm-hmm. Um, and the reason they can't t- have transparency is because everyone would be telling us what they wanted to do with the money. And what did they do? Give it to us? Yeah, all those people. <laughs> all those people are going to be like, "Can you can you help the poor with it?" Mm, no, <laughs> peasants. What do they uh, know? What if there's another economic downturn that we probably caused? <laughs> Okay. Next question. Yes. SBC, Southern Baptist yes. Convention. Yes. Membership fell to the lowest number since what year? Oh. Has it been like two decades? More. Oh, why? Much more. Can't remember. 1978. Wow. And it was the second year in a row of record high downturn. That's right. Which was fun for us. All right. On to deaths in May. Uh, Jim Brown is another person who I'm embarrassed to not have known very much about. He was a uh, a boxer and a civil rights activist. Mm. He was recently fi- featured in One Night in Miami, which I really liked. It's a story about how Jim... Oh, God, why would I start this? Jim Brown, Malcolm X. Um, God, it was MLK there. J- oh, fuck. Can you look up One Night in... It's um, Cupid, draw back your... Sam Cooke. Jim Brown... Malcolm X. Was the other one MLK? I don't think it was. I think it was... Sam Cooke, Malcolm X, Jim Brown, Jackie Wilson, Barbara Cook, Cassius Clay, Muhammad Ali, right? Wait, there were four people in that movie. I don't know. I'm just looking at whatever Google tells me. Okay, anyway. Do your research. (laughs) Anyway... Um, He he died. He was a uh, uh, started as a boxer, was close with with Malcolm X and did a lot of work in in the uh, the civil rights space. So uh, sorely missed. Um, Tina Turner also Hmm. died. I am embarrassed. I am embarrassed to say that number four. I said Sam Cooke. You said Sam Cooke. I said Sam Cooke, Malcolm X, Jim Brown, Muhammad Ali. And oh, no, I didn't say Muhammad Ali was the one I missed. Mm -hmm. Muhammad Ali. Shit. Yeah, I did Mm -hmm. miss that one. Um. Anyway, uh, Tina Turner. I'm embarrassed that when I was young, I did not like Tina Turner, uh, which I realize now is a feature of my mom liking Tina Turner and me being <laughs> a contrary dickbag. Okay. The way my husband hated the Traveling Wilburys for years because mm. his dad liked them. No idea. Traveling Wilburys, like Tom Petty, George Harrison, oh. um, and two other people. Okay. And I can't think of one of them. Um, anyway, she passed away. She uh, what an incredible woman. She was an outstanding performer, um, survived... All kinds of abuse, um, just a, a really, it, just especially for a black woman in the time that she was prominent was was really, uh, she was she's an incredible person and mm-hmm. that hair though. Okay, 
June. Okay, so I put this in the bad shit category. The Titan submersible incident. I still am struggling with my feelings about this. Sorry people died, but also all of you were idiots. Yeah. Everyone involved. Like, it's the same way I feel about, like... Except for that kid who got dragged into it, who was 20. The kid is rough. If it wasn't for that. I... Here's why I am torn about how to feel about it. It's like, loss of life is tragic. The kid, especially, is hard to deal with. But also, like, rich dudes need to be reminded that they're not... Like... Just because you're anti-regulation doesn't mean the laws of physics don't apply to you. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, you think, like, these kinds of people think anybody trying to do safety regulation is, like, cramping their style. And it's just not. I feel the same way when, like, Cessnas crash, when they're, like, Mm. rich white dude got pilots fuck up. Like, like I understand. Yeah, we want to. It's so human nature to explore, but... It's when they take no safety precautions. This wasn't an accident that needed to happen or that happened out of nowhere. It's that they, this guy, the submersible dude, purposely did not take safety precautions seriously. Yeah. And was warned many times. Oh, yeah. Like, don't do this. Please don't yeah, yeah, do yeah. this. And like, really good article in the New Yorker that showed up like two weeks after the crash that yeah. just detailed everything they ignored, oh, everything I'll have to they read that. screwed up. It's I would like, honestly wow, the I amount hope, of I hope they make a uh, a documentary about it. I would really I'm very I think it's a really interesting story and mm-hmm. it's obviously tragic but it's like you said unnecessary. It's very much like the Elon going to space thing. Like I want it to work cuz I think it would be cool to be able to have a submersible that but goes underwater just... and that's safe. Um but until then if you're blatantly ignoring all the safety protocols yeah. and engineering things that we know you have to do yes. what do you think is going to happen and good i'm glad it happened when you all were dumb enough to do go you... into this thing without any regard for safety it's a tragedy when people who are like all right they did everything right yeah. and then it crashes or fails or That's we assume horrible. the people who built this bridge made right. it safe right when they tried to do everything right yeah. or assumed it was correct, yeah. yeah, that is a tragedy. Yeah. In this case, the guy who did the submersible thing knew it wasn't up to code. I have a question. Um, Am I a horrible person? Yes. No, 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 no. I don't. I do think you're a horrible person, yes. but it doesn't bother me. Mm-hmm. Um, do, do you think that the thing about flaunting safety shit is in line with the sort of anti-vaxxer of it all, of, oh, you're telling me to do something, fuck you, I'm not going to do it? I think like, it's more they, be- the same they really don't trust expertise, and they think they know better, like, and they, they know which corners they can are- cut. That's the thing, yeah. it's like, these rich people think that the way they got rich was by cutting corners, yeah. and I just... And usually it's luck, it's not because you're a hundred million times smarter than everybody. Right, it's, it's just... Look, and you certainly, like, I just don't understand. Like, and it's, uh, why would you play with your own life that way? Yeah, it's overconfident. You believed your own bullshit. It must be some form of, like, psychopathy that, like, you just cannot even be, suggest the idea that this isn't going to go perfectly for me. Yeah. Ugh. It's, it's such a weird, sad, feel like that's an encapsulation of the year right there. It really, I mean, to me, it feels, and I don't know. people ruining shit, but being overconfident and thinking they knew what they were doing. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. It's just the overconfidence of, it's Dunning-Kruger effect that if you know a little bit about something, Mm -hmm. you think you know everything and you're a fucking idiot. I don't think that's exactly how it goes. Anyway. Um, okay, so Texas banned gender gender affirming care for most minors. A man killed a man killed a dude and his stepson injured five at a Virginia high school graduation. Um, did you know Pence is running for president? Still? Oh, no, no, he dropped out June. now. Did he drop yeah, out? Yeah, yeah. He was okay. the first one to go. I did not know he even yeah. ran for president. That completely missed me. Yep, neither did anyone else, hence his problem. Yep. <laughs> God. Okay. Here's Still, a- I'm appalled. Again, the thing that's weird about that is who in this guy's circles was telling him there is an audience for him to be president 
Because how deluded do you have to be to think they want you and not someone like Trump? You were along for the ride. You were there to give evangelical some comfort. You were the one conservatives were getting ready to fucking lynch, my dude. They mm-hmm. don't want your shit. Like, yeah, so again, it goes back to who do you think is going to vote for you? We all knew the answer was you don't have a audience. There's no voting block that wants you there. Because even evangelical Christians who would be uh, drawn That's to his, his religiosity, yeah. they've all shifted over to Trump and right. don't give a shit about religion anymore. Right. And how come no one in his circles had the like decency to tell him that. But this is what I'm saying. The Elon Musk, the Trump Mm -hmm. thing. If you are an idiot and surround yourself by other idiots or fire people who tell you things you don't want to hear, you end up running for president for three weeks. Right. Right. Um, Okay. So this is one I did not know about. And it's genuinely one of the more insidious things I've heard this year. Uh, Texas eliminated a rule that requires construction workers to get a, 10 minute water break mm. every how often 10 minute water break every few hours four hours four hours yep can't have them doing their job well uh it also banned local uh localities from passing any law that would provide that and just i did i did do some research today texas has the highest rate of workers death due to high temperatures surprise yeah I think Oklahoma this week was in the news, too, because Mm -hmm. a big company, I don't remember which one, but they said, yeah, we're 100% not opening up a multi, maybe billion dollar facility in Oklahoma because there's no way we're going to find good workers who want to move to Oklahoma. And all the leaders, the Republican leaders in that state had to put out statements because that's a huge loss for them Mm -hmm. because they wanted that company to come there Mm -hmm. they all had put out statements saying like well we look forward to working with them in the future and you know these things happen it's like you're not acknowledging the reason no one it's your fault um i've heard that from democrats in nebraska as well where they're like you're worried about a brain drain you're worried about like why companies don't want to move here it's because of you. It's not because of other stuff because we got smart people here but everyone wants to leave this red state like, Texas guess, is one exception, but it's kind of because it's so big. Yeah. And the weather is warmer. It's like, but on all these other states where they don't like, necessarily have those advantages. Nobody's moving Nebra- to Nebraska for the weather. Yeah, you don't hear college students saying, I can't wait to graduate and move to West Virginia. Yeah. Like, and there are fine people who live there, too. It's just like, if yeah, you have a choice, do you want to move to a big city with a lot of people? Yeah, it's expensive, and that sucks. Mm-hmm. But also, yeah, you're not going to be persecuted there. Well, and personally, this is the thing I think about all the time, especially I drive to and from uh, from Aurora to Lake Geneva. So I usually i am going up like fairly rural, like two-lane highways. It's about um, an hour and 45 minutes. And every time Mikey and I drive through these like little towns like Harvard, Illinois, and things like that, it's just like, I would love to live in a little town like this. I would love mm. to live in a place where there's your local bar and your local diner and your local whatever, and you can walk to, and it's a community. But I don't want to be in communion with the kind of people who, because I drive through and there's the Blue Lives Matter shit and the Trump shit. And it's like, well, I don't want to be here. If there's, if I'm going to like be in a community of 200, 300 people, like why I never travel South of I-80 on purpose. World South of I-80. No, we're not. Where's (laughs) I-80? Is that the one that cuts across from? Draw a line under Chicago. That's I-80. Yeah. Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yeah. I don't take I-80 very much. I'm never, not going south and east or west. Anyway, affirmative action was repealed. Yeah. That was miserable. Um, do you remember the haze this summer? I forgot about the haze this oh, summer. The Canadian we, wildfire mm, haze. We had to cancel yeah. lessons a couple times. Oh, yeah. Like couldn't literally step outside. Co- Why is the sky orange? We couldn't turn our horses out. Like no. it was like we ugh, it was like we had to do all this research about like, okay, at what air quality temperature is it dangerous for horses to mm-hmm. like be active in? It was miserable. And it, I had a moment of walking with one of my students. She was on horseback. I was on the ground outside and it was like, okay, we're only going to, we're going to do a trail ride because we can't go faster than a walk today because uh-huh. the air quality is so bad. And I just had a moment of like, this is, I think, the new normal. This is our Ray yeah, Bradbury future. Yeah, enjoy it. This is as good as it's going to yeah, get. Yeah, this is a our Ray Bradbury, like, 
you only get rain every seven years deal. It's mm-hmm. it's only getting worse. Um, oh, and also 40 million Americans in June were under excessive heat notifications. 40 million. That sounds about right. All right. Good shit in June. Trump indicted on seven counts. A good start. Faces, do you want to guess his charges? Uh, which ones? Uh, so it's seven counts. Uh, the first one is, uh, excuse me, he faces seven counts under the Espionage Act. Uh-huh. Would you like to take a swing at any of the specific nope. indictments? We have an obstruction of justice. I learned my lesson. Here's the deal. He can have as many, whatever, 90-some charges that mm. he's under right now, and whatever. Tell me when he gets indicted, to, or tell me when he's like found guilty and put in jail. Until then, I'll just assume nothing will come of this so the specifics no longer matter because that's not my business. Like, it's no longer my beat. Yeah. So just tell yeah. me when something happens because every update on, look, a judge said, I don't care. Just tell me when it ends. Yeah. Because I'm just going to assume he's going to get out of it somehow. Of course. And of course. And it, it it is exhausting to get your hopes up and down. Like, you know, when yeah. he was fucking uh, impeached three times. Three times? Two, two times. Two yeah. times. Nothing. Yeah. It's, it's all a bummer. Anyway. Um, oh, I, and I, this is another thing I did not know. Did you know Illinois banned the banning of books? Yes. Isn't that cool? Yeah. First state to do so. Um, a judge in Arkansas, um, blocked a law banning gender affirming care. There was a lot of like double negatives that I had to work through yeah, yeah, yeah. and they really kind of hurt my brain. Um, the Arizona governor issued an order protecting abortion rights. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kentucky and Tennessee blocked bans on gender affirming care. Joining this is or- Arkansas, Florida, and Indiana. That doesn't feel right in my judges heart. might do the right thing when the Republican legislatures gotcha. don't, but yeah. also they're always short lived. Mm. There's always a new way to get around it. Like mm-hmm. again, it's I'm glad when those nice little blips yeah. happen. Yeah. How long are they going to stay that way? I don't know. Sure. Uh, the documentary series Shiny Happy People premiered. Oh, yeah. I thought that was, was a really interesting cultural moment because I think for a lot of people, this was their first exposure to... The Duggars and their branch, their sect of religiosity. I That and just generally what religious conservatism looks like on the ground. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I, I, I We know- talked about this. There were several documentaries that came, a docu-series that came out this year. Mm, yeah, that got a just couple of them in here. Exposed all of that. Mm-hmm. And it's, you know what? I knew most of this, or I knew the broad, uh, the, the broad scope of this stuff. But we have a special interest. Yeah, exactly. But most people haven't. So I like that it's getting out in mm-hmm. this way because that reaches new people who who don't pay attention to this stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, All right. Question. Yes. Why did Archbishop Joseph uh, Newman of Kansas City have to send a serious email to his clergy members? Oh, man, I don't remember that. It's because they used the wrong kind of wine. (laughs) And all of... (laughs) All your baptisms don't (laughs) count. (laughs) Nice. I just... Please find the enclosed decree I've issued to address the use of wines of dubious or altogether <laughs> invalid matter intended for the celebration of the Eucharist in this archdiocese. It's recently Aww. been reported by two priests, having served in three different parishes, that upon their appointment to these parishes, they soon discovered the long-term use of wines that were in fact invalid matter for the confection confection of the Eucharist. I've never heard that. Mm. Anyway, this is a gravely serious situation for which we must now petition the Holy See for guidance on restorative matters. And this makes me wonder, does God care about technicalities? God only cares about technicalities. If there's anything we've learned from the Catholic Church. Mm -hmm. Only technicalities. Only technicalities. technicalities. And if you screw it up, nothing counts and that can have ripple effects and it's so fun. just... God, it was such a... So funny that other people who are not in the hierarchy Mm -hmm. might take that seriously. I just... I don't know if a lot of other people grew up in the way I did that. Like, I was aware of religion, but kind... Again, with the kayfabe thing. Mm -hmm. I thought we were kind of all (laughs) in on the joke. Like, we know this isn't real. It's silly. (laughs) Of course it's silly. I'm nine years old, and I know it's silly. Um... And I can't decide if things like this make me like really gleeful or like deeply depressed mm-hmm. of 
this ruined somebody's life. <laughs> and I like yeah, I hate I feel to bad laugh for them, about but it. But also I am gonna laugh. But also, guys. Yeah. You're fifty two. You'll be fine. Right? Like <laughs> I just ugh, it's not great. All right, deaths in June. So um, we have the Iron Sheik on here, who I think is a wrestling dude. Okay. I only know him because he like tweeted weird for a little bit. Um, but Mikey put it in the Hell, list. Hulk so. Hogan got baptized this week. They're all weird. Did he? He did. Good for him. Good I was on him, for him trying to, to make Christ. up for his sex tape. And make up for shutting down Gawker. That too. Anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, we're going to cheers for this one. Do you have wine left? Yeah. Pat Robertson Bye. died. Oh, that's right. Fucking yes. Pat Robertson. Yep. And I still drink after you toast, Hammond. I've been drinking this whole time. Hammond's not good at niceties. The funniest thing about his death (laughs) is that. (laughs) Of many, many, many funny things. Give it a week after his death. I have heard nothing about Pat Robertson since shortly after his death. Can we? No one remembers this this guy. What? No one talks about how he influenced them. He was not. In that he was famous in the sense that he was everywhere because he owned a lot of shit and he could get on TV all the time with the 700 Club. But there's no one is saying he was influential in any meaningful way. Do you think that means nobody was watching the 700 Club? It didn't. I don't know what the ratings were like. What I do know is they had enough. Did he self-fund it? Pretty much. Like when he sold the channel, when he sold his religious channel to whoever, ABC, Mm. like the rule was you can have this network, but you got to play the 700 Club every night. And it doesn't matter how many people are watching it. It made no impact. It had no lasting impact. That's Pat Robertson's legacy. He's in there all the time. Yeah. Whatever influence he had in the 80s, 90s, whatever, it was gone, but he was still around. (laughs) And his brand of Christianity is still around. Sure. But he himself, no lasting impact in the sense that people talk about him. Rush Limbaugh, same way. Yeah. Like, he has clones Mm -hmm. who want to be like him, but also Rush Limbaugh, too. It's like... I feel like people hold Rush Limbaugh dearer in those circles than Pat Robertson. I feel like people still have a... Yeah, I haven't heard, like, the Christian defense of Pat Robertson in the years to follow. There was another priest... A priest, like another pastor type who died this year, Tim Keller. And the interesting thing is when I've seen Christian news outlets do their rundown of like the top 10 stories of the year, Tim Keller's death is in pretty much everyone's list because of the impact that guy had. It doesn't affect us because we're we're not his crowd. But that's the thing. Like that guy had an impact among Christians saying like this guy spoke truth to power. He did this or that. Fine. Whatever. Did they mention Pat Robertson? Nope. (gasps) Barely. Barely, because he was an old guy. Like, of course he yeah. died. It's not sad per se when an old person dies. You but expect he was it still to happen. It wasn't. Oh no, he retired shortly. He retired shortly died. after. But that's the thing. Like his death. Like it wasn't like it led to all these. Mm. Uh, let's recall what he did for us. Like, let's I recall the like... memories he left us with, because he was a jackass for his entire life, and he spread just the worst elements of Christianity. He only made the news sometimes recently because He's every now and then, shit. every now and then, he said something that was sensible. Like, of course, the world wasn't created in six days. Uh... Of course, we should le- uh, legalize weed, <laughs> which was another stance he took. It's like, yeah, buddy. You're right. Stand on up that. for your own interests, I guess. But all right. Um, yeah, I it, it makes me think your description of him makes me think of I, I listened to somebody describing Ryan Seacrest. <laughs> who Like if he disappeared. Nobody would notice. But he right. is but he probably works seven days a week. And he's gonna take over ten hours of a day. Yes. Is he? He's the new Pat Zajac oh, after I didn't next know year. That. But that's the but, thing. Another job where forgettable. <laughs> It's there. Good for him. He's making good money. But, he but was also, just, somebody described him as like the most ambitious person with no specific ambition. <laughs> yeah, like you have no not, idea his opinion on anything because he's opinion. not paid like, to have is opinions. Is he trying to start an empire? Like yes. he's so rich, but he still works constantly. Sure. Good for again. I'm not knocking the no, guy. Like, good for him. Live your life. Yeah, but, but also it's just like. You're, there. You're working so fucking hard, even though you have all of the money in the world. And so what are you to working what for? Because yeah. you're not promoting an opinion or a cause. Right. Right? It's not like he's... You're just there. You're just there and are trying to be ubiquitous in our lives. Yeah. It's wild. Anyway, uh, Ted Kaczynski died. All right. Did I tell the story about when I met one of the FBI agents? <laughs> 
You may, you may have. I, I think I did. I'm going to tell it again because fuck you. Yeah. Um, this literally happened the week. This would happen in June. I went to <laughs> a concert at my parents' little golf club community. Guess what? A lot of white people. Can uh-huh, you believe it? Uh-huh. Um, and we saw a band, and the band's name is Eddie Butts. And I don't know what to tell you about that, but everybody was pretty fucking chill about it. Okay. Anyway, so... <laughs> First of all, I would love to do a whole episode on this. Like, oh, I think I sent you a picture of like somebody had a little charcuterie board on like a camping table. Like, it was just real white people bullshit. Okay. Anyway, so I drank some wine and we we're heading out, and my dad kind of nudges me and he's like, See that guy over there? That's one of the FBI agents who arrested Kaczynski. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> Seriously? So uh-huh. And he was like, Yeah. And so my drunk ass marched right up to this gentleman and was like, hey, I'm John Bloomkey's daughter. <laughs> Did you arrest the Unabomber? <laughs> and thankfully, this guy was like, yup. <laughs> Tell me everything. He carried the Unabomber's fucking typewriter that he wrote that nice. manifesto. He nice. carried that from the thing to the thing. That's a guy I want to sit next to at a thing like that. I want to talk to him for the rest yes. of my... And he was very nice and gracious and chill and not like a D-bag. It By the was, way, as we speak, yeah. Maine's Secretary of State has removed Donald Trump from the primary ballot. Yay! It won't last, is that but it is funny. Is that two states? That's two states. Nice. Uh, though Colorado's bringing him back. Is it? Yeah. Why? Because uh, they don't want to... What's wanted, the 14th Amendment? It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, none of this is going to last. It's just hilarious because he's going to get pissed off and that makes me happy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Go this on. Great. This is great. And Maine is, well, Maine is sort of a... No, Maine's, Maine's okay Obsessed now. Obsessed with the image. Oh, yeah. Did you not know that? Uh, know. That Ted Kaczynski's cabin was airlifted into yes. a museum. Yes. And it's just in there. I would give... <laughs> is that yeah. headquarters? Is that still where it is? I would give my right arm. To be the Unabomber? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I do like writing at length, and I have strong (laughs) opinions. (laughs) Uh Uh, Also, Treat Williams died. He was an actor from uh, Everwood. He died in a motorcycle accident. I don't have any strong opinions about him. It just was included on my list. (laughs) Okay. Oh, uh, remember when Biden really wanted to cancel a ton of student loan debt? Tried to. He did. SCOTUS just, fucked that shit. Well, yes. first, SCOTUS did block it, but he found other ways okay, to get around spoilers, it for some people. Okay, spoilers, we're only in July. Okay, We've got okay. a long time. How, how, how long have we been recording? Uh, seven and a half hours. Cool. Uh, I did text him earlier saying, remember, this is a long episode. <laughs> I will not be rushed. <laughs> um, You're in December. <laughs> a man opens fire with an assault rifle, kills four adults, Two children, um, didn't write where this was. I think it was in Oklahoma, but he was wearing a bulletproof vest. Yeah, of course. Which is just, I just don't know how, I just don't know what to do with that information, but it feels significant. It uh-huh. makes me really angry, but I can't put my finger on why. Okay. Um, uh, Iowa passed a six week abortion ban. Uh, July 4th marked the hottest day on record. In global history. Congrats, everyone. Mm-hmm. Threads premiered. I just put threads, question mark. Haven't quite gotten into it. Has anybody? Yeah, some people have. It's the best Twitter alternative that exists right now, but it's still not ideal because it doesn't. Blue, is Blue Sky nothing then? No, that's for like four people and it's fine. But if you're looking you for. You just can't do it without mass. Yeah, you need a mass group of people to join any social network and Blue, Blue Sky doesn't have it. Uh, Threads does. Mm. It's just not a good platform yeah. as to do the stuff you used to do on Twitter. It's just different. I no. don't know. Uh, all right. Next question. Yes. Rank the following okay. in order of commonality of belief. Okay. Angels, the devil, God, oh. heaven, hell. In the year 2023 or 22. I believe fewest people believe in hell and slightly more people believe in the devil, but they are much lower than the other three you just mentioned. Correct, but opposite. Oh, really? Uh, uh, no one the believes devil, in the devil? The devil is lowest, followed very, like, like 15, like, excuse me, 59 versus, like, 
58 point. Oh, okay, okay. Like really close. Yeah. Okay, so you're starting from the bottom. So now we're 58% ish here. believe in the devil and hell mm-hmm. of all Americans. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. And God belief is probably what, 70? Um, About that, yeah. A little higher. Okay. I'm also looking at a graph that's not like really. Sure. And uh, I don't know where the other two stand. All right, so from Angels and to- heaven. What do you, just of those it's, two? I mean, it's a little lower, I would imagine. But between those two, what do you think? Oh, um, if we were saying God belief is at like roughly 70, probably mm-hmm. 65. All right, so we had, and this is, it's all between like 72 and 59, more or less. Okay. So uh, in order, in percentage of belief, God is the top. Uh, and then drop down to... So Americans believe in God, a bunch of them. Mm-hmm. Specific denominations vary. Correct. So uh, angels are like 60, almost 69%. Nice. Okay. Um, heaven is like 68. Mm-hmm. And then we drop way down. <laughs> Hell is a little under 59. Yeah. Which means and there are people who believe in heaven but not hell, and who believe in angels but not the devil. Well, yeah, and believe is, in hell but not the devil. Yeah, and you know, believe in heaven but not hell. I that, guess that's just right. Judaism. Right. That's just <laughs> Judaism. <laughs> I know about one religion. of the preachers who died this year was uh, Carlton Pearson, who was another Christian preacher who said, "I don't believe hell exists," and then he—that's what he became known for. And not in a good way uh, in really? Christian circles. Oh, that makes sense. Uh, but that well, was I mean, the thing hell he isn't described for. in the Bible. Yeah. So, how the, did they just justify that then? Or he had his reasons. There was a This American Life episode about him. There was a whole documentary really? about the guy. Yeah. Recently um, or a couple of years ago. Okay. Um, but again, if you're saying like I believe God is good, and that's why I don't believe in hell, because how could anyone do that? It's like, all right. I mean. I don't think I think the rest of your beliefs are also bullshit, but also better than the al- alternatives. I just the picking and choosing I find frustrating. Yes, and that is the criticism he got repeatedly. Mm. Um, okay, remember when you were being Johnny interrupty before? That's always yes. Biden forgives thirty nine billion dollars in student loan debt. Yeah, good. see, yep, same month. Excellent. You just had to wait for a fucking <laughs> second. Are you charging your phone because you've been using it so much as we've been talking? That is correct. Mm-hmm. It's important to me that everybody knows that Hemet's screen is always on. Didn't know you could turn it off. I it, it's genuinely stressful for me because I can. It's usually in my line of vision <laughs> while we're recording, and it's sometimes just your fucking uh, regular like screen, like your uh, main menu. God, my brain. Okay, we have to keep going. Okay. Are we in December yet? We're in July. Go on. Um, do you remember why the United States had to sue Texas over something in the Rio Grande? Oh, because they were trying to m- you put murder saws uh-huh. for the refugees. So anyway, they weren't supposed to do that anymore. That was in federal water. Okay, this is the only joke I wrote. It's not even a joke. It's just a rant. <clears throat> Elon Musk decides to throw away the most iconic and universal branding in decades because he's a big stupid man baby who hates himself and isn't funny and no one likes him and he knows that and is punishing the world for it. That's good. That's so when good. Elon Musk made it to X, made Twitter into X, yeah. which truly, like as a person with a marketing background, like <laughs> it is all about brand awareness, right? right? And so when your product has become a verb yep, a la tweet. Google, yep. you cling on to that with both hands. Now, actually, ironically, both Google and Twitter have done their goddamn damnedest to make their platforms terrible. And truly, I do like that Elon Musk, who is famously a transphobe, is like, I want you all to treat me by a different name now. Call me by the name I go by now, which is X. And no one wants to do it. He called himself X? No, I mean the platform. Oh, and oh no I see what one, you mean. I see what you mean. I no see what you one mean. is calling oh, yeah. it X who like, uses it. Because, wh- because that's nothing. Right. It's just nothing. It's always X, the company known as Twitter. It's you so embarrassing. Um, the uh, WGA and SAG-AFTRA AFTRA mm-hmm. go on strike. Uh, they end up... I don't even think I put that when they won. Yeah. It, Good. Turned out great for them. They it was really, really, really outstanding. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Barbenheimer happened. Yeah. Uh, Hem and I feel differently about this. I did the whole Bob and Heimer, Barbenheimer. Would have been experience. more powerful if the movies were good. I loved <laughs> them both. 
Um, I went to uh, the Barbie movie at around 11 with my uh, my girlfriend Helen and my husband. And then Mikey and I went home, watched every square inch of behind the scenes footage and like interview footage we could find of the cast and crew of Barbie. <laughs> because, r- listen, I never got the Ryan Gosling thing. I think he's like a nice looking dude and he's talented. I get it now. <laughs> I'm one of you now. I'm in love with it. He's very funny, very uh-huh. self-deprecating, which I'm into. All right. Deaths in July. Cormac McCarthy, a person yeah. who I would have paid money to say died in the 1970s. <laughs> uh, Never one of the most depressed, yeah. like why on the, like the road, like he just wrote really like dark, 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 post-apocalyptic dystopian kind of shit. I don't have room for that right now. Um, Daniel Ellsberg, who mm. I did not know his name off the top. Do you? Deep Throat. Or involved in yeah, the he, Watergate scandal. Uh, he was not Deep Throat. Um, was it wasn't else. Watergate scandal. Uh, he released the Pentagon Papers. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. you're right. It's I know that, I'm right. I did research. It's in all that whistleblower <laughs> yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's all of the same Sorry. era. Yeah. Um, yeah, so essentially the Pentagon Papers showed, uh, released a, uh, a... And he had to do it page by page. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, God, I can't think of the name of the thing, but it was basically called like the list of decision making for the Vietnam war. And it revealed that America is terrible and imperialist. And he released that and right. Turned, turned the tide. Really against turned the, war. the tide. And, and it, cause it used to be just the hippies were anti-war <laughs> and you know, Kent state happened, you know, kids were murdered because the national guard was so panicky about people being like, Hey, maybe we don't need to go to Vietnam for war right now. Um, Anyway, it's a, a, a really, really, really impressive thing that he did that mm-hmm. made the world a better place. Not a lot of people can say that. Uh, Paul Rubens died, oh. which was a bummer. Mm-hmm. Actually, this was a, a rough uh, a rough month for deaths. Paul Rubens died. Um, Sinead O'Connor died. Mm-hmm. And that was hard for me. Um, I, I'm genuine. Uh, what I thought about when I found out she died is one of the things I thought was that I'm really proud that we have a podcast episode that says, we're sorry, Sinead O'Connor. That makes me feel good that we, at least you and I had a moment to like honor her before she died to say like, Hey, you were treated like shit. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Listen, we're a nothing podcast. Nobody listens. Cause to years it. ago there was a reckoning about, she was right about the Catholic church. She's right about everything. Yeah. Um, the, the, if you don't know the famous stories that Sinead O'Connor went on SNL and um, ripped up a picture of uh, the Pope, people lost their goddamn mind because she was a victim of Catholic church abuse and mm-hmm. wanted to let the world know. And, and she knew it was going on. And she knew it was Not just because she was a victim, but because there were people who knew this stuff was happening. Mm-hmm. And that was well before the articles, like the Spotlight team, whatever, mm-hmm. published all that stuff. So people were just like, that was religious bigotry. Well, and if you weren't around for it, it's hard to explain how people lost their fucking mm-hmm. minds about it. Cause we were kind of in a mono culture then, right? Like yeah. everybody was watching SNL every weekend. Anyway, um, that stunk. Tony Bennett died and Alan Arkin died to stalwarts of the, uh, entertainment industry. Um, I'm both lived long, long lives. So anyway, mm-hmm. all right, August, are you ready? Okay. I uh, didn't know this one. A California business owner was shot and killed by a Christian nationalist because why she was flying a gay flag oh, on her storefront. Right. She yes. herself was straight. Yeah. Um, apparently, she was a friend of Paul Feig, who directed Bridesmaids mm-hmm. and Spy and stuff like that. Um, just a fucking bigot. She wasn't even queer. She was just mm-hmm. an ally and was murdered for it. So. Anyway, things are going really good for us. Okay, uh, South Carolina holds up a heartbeat bill. Boo! That fire, the fire in Hawaii kicked off. They, mm-hmm. a it destroyed a town of of excuse me thirteen thousand people in Maui. I didn't Jeez. know it it leveled a town, which is tragic. And that brings us to weird transition. I have three questions. Okay, with whom? Did Spokane Spokane Mayor Nadine Woodward share a stage? Uh, Sean Foyt. Who is he? The Christian nationalist guitar player who 
pretends, who's anti-vaxxer, pretends to heal people. And? And. Oh, my God. Was it a politician? Uh, I'm looking right now. I don't remember. Nah, I was right. hoping you knew. <laughs> you said, who did you say? Sean Fight? Yeah, that's one of them. Um, is it Matt? It Shea? is. Oh shoot! Uh, yeah, Matt Shea, mm-hmm. former who's former like, state lawmaker Matt Shea. I don't. Who's like a secessionist who wants to <laughs> create? Oh, his is he own one of the people who wants to smush Idaho and Washington yeah. together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which honestly, I have no problem with. <laughs> it's all the same. Area. I really think we should really consider Combine redrawing the state lines. Yeah, yeah, I have yeah. no problem with mm-hmm. this. Okay, uh, why? Oh, this is a rough one. Why did the Dem- Denver Archdiocese sue the state of Colorado? Uh, it has to do with offering like, oh, because they wanted to pay for preschool or kindergarten for little children. And the diocese got mad at the competition. Yep. That they they would- wanted to offer free uh, early childhood care, like pre- pre- pre-K pre stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the Archdiocese is like, how are we supposed to make money? <laughs> If you're giving people something that they desperately need for yes, free, right. you monsters. We're the Catholic Church. We're here to ruin the day. Oh, oh, okay. I'm very excited about this one, Hammett. Okay, I have to pull it up before I... Okay. okay. I have in front of me the tweet that Franklin Graham sent out Ugh. after the U.S. women's national soccer team lost to Sweden. Oh, he must have been so happy. Uh, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lines of a tweet. <laughs> okay. How many conservative talking points can you name oh, that God. exist? He had to be happy because Megan Rapino lost, and he doesn't like that she's outspoken and liberal. Does not mention her by name, no. Okay. Um, I don't know. We probably blame Biden for it somehow. Uh, nope. What did wow, he do? you're what pretty did bad at this. Yeah, I don't remember what he said. The U.S. women's national soccer team lost to Sweden yesterday at the 2023 Women's World Cup. I used to pull for our women's soccer no, team, but in recent years, they have shown disrespect for our country's flag and national Technically, anthem. Technically, I'm right, because have, that was Rapino. And have used their platform to promote the LGBTQ agenda. Also Rapino. When they lost yesterday, I wasn't sad. Yeah, I know. I wish I didn't feel that way, but when <laughs> players think it's more important... Think it's more about them than the nation they represent? I can't support that. Former President Donald Trump also spoke about the team's loss to Sweden and the failure of the players being openly hostile to America. And he's right about this. And this is the quote I really thought you would land with. Woke equals... (laughs) Oh, my God. It says woke equals failure. I thought it was woke equals broke, broke, which Uh at least rhymes. Anyway, that's too bad. You're not doing very good in these quizzes. I know. Mm. And that was August. It was August. Yeah. Okay, Trump charged with attempts Franklin to... Franklin Graham's another one. At some point, he's going to die, too. And at that point, he'll have a week of obituaries, and then no one will remember that guy because he doesn't contribute anything yeah. useful. I can't remember if I said this out loud, he but I thought money. it in my head is it's like the Westboro Baptist Church dude. When right. he died, everyone's like, fucking finally, right. dude. Like, right. we, what are you doing? I, I feel the same about most of these, like, old school, like... Old school racist dudes, they're not going to be missed. Um, I <laughs> I made up an acronym, or maybe I didn't. I called it SCOIL. Okay. What do you think that... No idea. Supreme Court of Illinois. Okay. Do you like that? Mm-hmm. S-C-O-I-L? Mm-hmm. I liked it. Um, it upheld a, uh, a ban of assault-style weapons in yep. Illinois, which is great. Uh, now, here, we're going to get into... If only Indiana didn't sell all the assault rifles. No fucking next shit. Door. I love that when conservatives pretend that there's, like, walls between states and that Gary, Indiana <laughs> isn't 34 <laughs> minutes away from where we are right now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, okay, now we're at the part that I really want to hear your take on. Trump just doesn't go to debates. <laughs> Let's talk about the conservative you debates. Know, you got to hand it to the Nazi dude. Like... He's not wrong. He didn't want to show up. He he knew didn't. there would be no consequences for it, and it would probably help him because just watch a bunch of idiots try to be him. Well, and also and the less he worked. speaks, the better yeah. he is. Yeah, like it worked out perfectly for Trump. Mm. Uh, you think? Yes. You think? Do you think nobody's going to be off put by it? No, that's fair. it's a cult. They don't care if he yeah. shows up to the typical Republican stuff. Yeah, uh, they want him to say. Psh, I don't need the party. Just vote sure. for me. Like, that's what his base wants. And the fact that the Republican Party mm. did not punish him in any way for it just shows, like, yeah, he's right. You guys are 
horrible. I'm just so obviously election years are miserable. Yeah. I am so deeply curious to watch the GOP primary play out. Oh, because I'll, I'll save you the time. He'll win. It won't be. It'll be fast by Super Tuesday in early March. It'll be done. All the rest of these people will be out of it. You think? Yeah, it'll be done. He lost so it. So you, you think he's locked? Yeah. Hmm. It'll be. Do you fast. think he's gonna win? Trump mm. in the election? Mm. No, I, I think he'll think. get charged as I think he'll be found guilty in any one of these mm. gazillion charges. So you do think and I face think there will be some people who will be turned off by that. The fact that he's found guilty, not that he's been indicted mm. by any of this stuff. And so Biden's not a great candidate. However, I don't think people want to see Trump again. So the people who are like, oh, I don't want to see Biden. Yeah. Well, what are you going to do? He's the one on and the also, ticket. Biden's Shut been up. fine. He's been fine. He's, been he's fine. done everything you want him to do, given the everything constraints he, he had. Like I said earlier, he tried to forgive student loan shit, yeah. but it was blocked by SCOTUS. He's horrible like, on Israel. Can't. Guess what? You know who's worse on Israel? Trump. And Is every he horrible single on Repo- Israel? He's horrible. Oh. Like, again, I have plenty of criticisms of Biden. None of them matter compared to the alternative. Sure. So all those people, when you face with those two choices, most of them will come back. I think a lot of people who might be inclined to vote for Donald Trump, if he gets found guilty on any of this stuff, are going to be like, yeah, no, I'm not going to do that. You think? Yeah. I feel like they would vote for him anyway as a fuck you, too. No, most voters do not pay attention to anything. No one listens. I mean, we joke. No one listens to this show. Mm. No one pays attention to politics. Mm -hmm. Nobody, except for a handful of people who are hardcore on one side or the other. Sure. Most people are going to be like, what, a criminal? Someone who was found guilty? I cannot vote for that Mm. because that's all they know about the guy. And that could have an impact. But so Biden doesn't bother me in that sense. Sure. Uh, Trump... But that doesn't mean Trump can't win. Like he of could, it we, but he will one hundred. We lived through twenty sixteen. He will absolutely be the nominee mm. unless, like, there's a medical issue that he literally can't. <gasps> like he dies. Yeah, like that's it. It'd be so fun. Everything else, no, nah, he'll be the nominee. It'll be wrapped Is up there quickly. Any heir apparent to him? No. There really isn't. No. Because even That's because the, the problem with what's happening the primaries, right now the debate is... are all people who want to be the heir apparent. That's what Ron DeSantis thought he was. And the answer is, no, dude, you suck at everything. You're trying to be him, but you're not him. Yeah. And so he's not it. You, you just have a bunch of little minion clones all over the country, state legislators and things like that, who want to be Trump. I, They're I think... so bad at it, though, because, again, when you have no shame at all, yeah. like Trump, you can get away with this this stuff. You These can say other, shit on our podcast. I was, I was gonna say, <laughs> yeah, I know what I was gonna try and do there. But all the other people are not him. Yeah. So it doesn't work. Yeah. Because they have families they care about. I think it's <laughs> I think it's really funny that the GOP loves to paint their maybe not as much anymore, but uh, paint Democrats as like the anti Republican party. Like, you guys don't have any ideas. It, it's just one of those like you're accusing us of the thing you're doing. Yeah, it's all projection all the time. uh Uh-huh. And just the, I I think it's really funny that the short-term thinking of the GOP, which was get whomever in office, Mm -hmm. whoever in office, and get Roe v. Wade overturned. This is priority number one. Yeah, and they got it. And once they did that, now what? Yeah, they don't. Because even if Trump, even if Trump wins, that's what that takes us to 2028. Mm-hmm. And then who is next in line? Trump. But you think he's going to be constrained? No, they'll find a way out of it. It's like, well, it meant two consecutive terms and it wasn't consecutive. Therefore, he can run again in 2028. By that time, he'll be 112. <laughs> it won't matter. It doesn't matter because they don't care about the rules when it applies yeah. to them. Yeah. Did you know? Um, this on January first, uh, Steamboat Willie comes out of uh, uh, what's it called? Copyright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is it's if you public don't know, domain now. Public domain. Anyone which is can the, use Steamboat Willie. Which is the first iteration of Mickey Mouse. It's like last and year, Winnie the Pooh came out of public domain, so they made an evil Winnie the Pooh movie. But that's not the Disney version. Here's the it's thing just I'm bear. really excited about is Disney has really. F- fucked with copyright law a lot because they're like, we want to keep making money and make us do that. They've, I think already kind of played their cards that they could. And when Mickey, like Steamboat, I don't think there's a bit on last week tonight with John Oliver, where he repeatedly jokes about how they're totally going to use Steamboat Willie in the worst possible ways. 
Uh, and they've been doing a little, not a countdown, but they've done it a couple times now where they talk about this Three thing. more weeks. Yeah, exactly. It's great. Yeah. Love it. Um, okay. Uh, that, 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 that all came of Trump's debates. Um, a judge re- rejected <laughs> Trump's defamation lawsuit against CNN. Mm-hmm. I do love his defamation lawsuits because it's just like, they said a fact about me. <laughs> I hate it. Yeah. Um, one thing that, like, at first I was like, ugh. But now I'm like, yeah, good for you guys. The first commercial sailboat set sail for the first time since 1960. Commercial what? Sailboat. There hasn't been one? Since 1960. Oh. Because we moved on to engines. Oh. Mm, you've okay. heard of those. Mm. Um, Did not know. They have created a, uh, a fixed sail system. Okay. That uses wind power to uh, power boats. Nice job, wind. And it, you did it definitely came on my thread of like Silicon Valley reinvents <laughs> something again, like yeah, reinvents yeah. the bus again, which is their favorite thing to do. Yeah. Um, uh, and you know what? I, as much as my bitter heart wants to we be like, we invented a boat that works on wind. Yeah. Invest but, like, in our company. You know, fucking good for you. <laughs> All right. Question. Yes. What adjective does Christianity today editor-in-chief Russell Moore used to describe how modern Christians view Jesus. View Jesus? Uh-huh. Ooh, I don't remember. So basically his argument was there's something going on with the religious right yeah. that they no longer respect Jesus in the correct right. way. Russell Moore's been pretty critical of the Christian nationalist MAGA crowd. What did they call? The what did he think they would call Jesus if he said turn the other cheek? Or feet? Close. Ooh. Socialist, liberal, mm. weak. Ooh, okay. Weak. Okay. Which I think is true. Yeah. And an interesting thing to bring up. We're, next week, when we do a regular episode again, we're going to talk about Christianity today once more. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I, good stuff. Well, it'll be amusing. Oh, good. Uh, deaths in August. Uh, William Fredkin, Friedkin, uh, who directed The Exorcist, which okay. is a very good movie. Uh, Bob Barker joined Aww. the list of people I didn't realize were still alive. Mm-hmm. Uh, Woody Kaplan, who is Aww. one of our one of our own. Do you want to do you have anything I, to say about Woody? Yeah, I mean, when I started doing when I say activism, I mean getting involved with like national atheist groups and mm-hmm. working on boards of directors and things like that. Uh, he was always there. He, he because a lot of these groups were new, and he felt an obligation. Like, let me help you. Let me train you into how to raise money for your group, because that's what he was good at. Mm -hmm. Let me donate to you, but also let me train you so you can raise money from other people because I support your cause. Um, He was, he dedicated his work to that. A lot of liberal causes, some I didn't necessarily love, but some most that I really liked. Um, I was sorry to lose him. I didn't know he was sick. I knew he was older, but I didn't realize he was sick. So that was sad. All right. September. Um, Mac- I forgot, and it was only September that McCarthy is trying to impeach Biden. Yeah. On what ground? Oh, and no, he's like, there are no grounds. They're just trying to, like, again, what are Democrats going to use against Donald Trump this year? It's that this guy's been impeached repeatedly. Yeah. He, uh, He's just a criminal in all ways. So they're trying so hard to say, well, Biden is too. He committed a crime. What's the crime? Shut up. No follow-up questions. And again, Kevin McCarthy could say, yeah, we're not playing this game. Joe Biden didn't commit a crime. Right. We don't like him, but he didn't commit a crime. Nope. Kevin McCarthy, the more reasonable of the speaker nominees, (laughs) uh, was like, yeah, sure. We'll let you have this one. We'll let Republicans try to make an impeachment argument. Which they're still moving forward with. I mean, honestly, Republicans' technique or a campaign strategy is I know you are, but what am I? Yes. Right? Like, oh, you want to, like, oh, you're going to impeach our guy? We'll impeach your, no, right. we right, impeach right. your guy because we had That's reason. The thing I brought up earlier that they're trying to take Trump off the primary ballots. Why? Because the Constitution says if you're an insurrectionist, mm-hmm. you can't run for office. Well, because most of us think that the person who runs the country shouldn't be anti all of the country's yeah. laws. But the argument from Republicans, including like the attorney general in Texas, Ken Baxton, has mm. been like, well, we're going to maybe take Biden off our ballot. Oh, really? On what ground? On what ground? It doesn't matter. They're just saying, well, if you did it to us, we can do it to you because that's how this works. And it's like, no, we have reasons. Yeah, it's you embarrassing. You don't. 
But again, most people don't pay attention to anything, so they take Republicans seriously. And it's the media's job to call that bullshit out. Yeah. And most of them don't do a good job of it. Mm-hmm. All right. I have a bunch of questions for you okay. for this month. Uh, the Archdiocese of Baltimore, why were they part of the news cycle Bankrupt because of sexual assault. Correct. Lawsuits. Nice work. Yeah. Why was Pope Pius Twelfth? In the news in September. Because uh, apparently he knew what Hitler was doing and did jack shit about it. Didn't mm-hmm. Before World War II, could have said something. During World War II, could have said something about... Just opted uh, out. Just opted out from calling out mm-hmm. the Holocaust. Just like Jesus would. Uh-huh. Do you remember who Devin Rogers is? Devin Rogers. Help me out. Okay. He was... He... Uh, okay, I want to make sure this one's going to play. He's a hate preacher? Yes. He made a sermon that you clocked. Probably. And he used this sermon to justify one of the worst things that humanity has ever done, which is... Slavery. Mm -hmm. Do you remember why? What did he say? That slavery had a bright, like a silver lining to it or something? Worse. What did he say? What would be better for them to have lived their entire life in Africa free, doing their voodoo or whatever, and then dying and going to hell? Right. They were slaves in America and they were introduced to Jesus. So Lucky that makes it OK. All right. Do you remember? Uh, <laughs> Jesus. This guy, Pastor Rick Morrow. That name is familiar, too. Why is that name familiar? Because he said some not great things about autism. You got to narrow it down. That's well, a lot. That's of actually preachers. fair. It's pre- um, he said autism was what caused by the devil and that. Uh, it's satanic he or something. He said that his God didn't make junk. Oh, yeah. In reference right. to autistic people. And even Christians were like, the hell are you saying? Like, ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah. God created children because he doesn't like them very much, but his he rejected that option because, in his view, God doesn't make junk, suggesting that there's something deeply flawed about children on the autism spectrum. Mm-hmm. I like reading your writing back to you. <laughs> Thank you. Makes me feel like a really good... <laughs> All right, Joe Kennedy. Why did we talk about him in September? Joe Kennedy. Why was he in the news? Oh, because after winning that Supreme Court case last year, mm-hmm. so he could be a coach, mm-hmm. he was back for a game, mm-hmm. did his prayer on the field after the game. Then he's like, peace out, I'm done. Happy trails yep. to you. After all the shit he Until put everyone through, he me. helped break the wall of separation between church and state. And then everyone's like, you don't actually want to coach. We know you don't want to coach. He's like, I totally want to coach again. Supreme Court says, all right, you can coach again and you could pray. He's like, cool, I'll do it once. Wait, where did all the cameras go? I quit. Oh, I hate this when nobody's paying attention uh-huh. to me. Because football coaching is all about me, mm-hmm. the assistant mm-hmm. coach on a school you've never heard of. <laughs> High school. Uh, do you remember why we spoke about the Waymakers Collective? Because they rented out space at some church facility for their writing workshop. Mm, Like an artistic kind of Like an artistic sort of thing. And they set up the chapel uh, with like an ohm symbol, like a peaceful meditation room. Mm -hmm. And then Christian crazy people invaded their space with a weapon, I believe, but just invaded the space and said, get out. Mm -hmm. And it ruined the whole meditation thing. That's for damn Knocked sure. Knocked out of the park as usual. Yeah. It? What month is my birthday? No idea. Cool. You have a birthday? Uh-huh. Uh, every year, the good shit is um, there was a ban on gender-affirming care in Texas that was blocked by a judge. Mm-hmm. Who knows what's happened since then? But that was nice. Uh-huh. Uh, a Florida judge ruled against redistrict, uh, redistricting map that reduced uh, black voting power. For those of you who don't, <laughs> know how this shit works because i feel like we kind of do inside baseball a lot and yeah. not necessarily everybody republican isn't. lawmakers get to draw their maps a judge might say stop it and then in georgia like this happened today georgia republicans are like all right we redrew it and they changed like one thing and today the judge is like yeah, perfect yeah, nailed yeah, it that's fine knocked it out of the park yep. as usual except in wisconsin they've they may have fixed it. Wisconsin is weirdly being like the liberal place of my dreams, which is something I did not see coming. Four liberal judges 
have done the right thing. Yeah. The best part about that decision this week, mm-hmm. the Wisconsin one, is reading the dissents from the conservatives who are like so, so mad. Like, how dare you fix a broken system? This, Why would you do that? This is woke. I genuinely cannot remember when this election was, but at one point there was an election for the Supreme Court of Wisconsin. Yeah. And a dude lost to a liberal woman. Yeah. And made this speech, this demented, deranged speech about, like, I did not lose to a real candidate. <laughs> I have no respect yeah. for this person. And God bless my dad. He sat me down on, on their couch when I went up to visit him. He was like, we're watching him do this <laughs> terrible descent as a family. Yep. <laughs> he was... Truly, John Bloomkey has made such a 180 from being, like, just really fine with all conservative shit to being like, Jess, did you hear this guy's racist? Let's fucking drag him. <laughs> it's very fun for me. Oh, man. <laughs> all right. So on to good shit in September. Um, oh, no, we did this already. Florida judge, black money mm-hmm, powder. Mm-hmm. Um, the uh, the auto workers union stru- struck, striked, struck, yep. striked. Um, they also got a really, really wonderful deal, which is great news. And they forced other non-union yeah. car companies to it's improve what they so offered workers, good. too. Great. It's also good. I love it so much. Um, some, I, I don't know, I didn't write, oh, boy, I was obviously getting tired by September. Trump and business fraudulently inflated the value of his properties. Yeah, of I don't know who did. said that or decided it. Um, ooh, this is another schadenfreude thing. Do you remember Burning Man this year? Oh, yeah. They couldn't get out. Couldn't get out for weeks. And then I laughed because those people made the mistake of going outside uh, to have fun. Like, listen. That was your mistake. There's worse things than Burning Man, but I, I've just never known anybody who goes to Burning Man to be, like, actually chill. More <laughs> like, I'm really rich, and I, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Anyway, they all got stuck in the mud, and I felt really smug about it, because I'm a dick. They all got out eventually. Yeah, they're fine. Nobody died. Yep. They probably ran out of ecstasy, but that happens to the best of us. Mm-hmm. Okay, Hammett, are you ready? Go. Rank the th- next three politicians in order of most to least religious. Mm. Mm-hmm. Trump. Mm-hmm. Romney. Ooh. Hence, Go. most religious. Romney is religious, but he's the wrong religion. Sorry, this is according to a survey. Oh. 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 <laughs> so if it's a survey uh-huh. of who? Does that matter here? Oh. Do we care? Who cares? Who cares? <laughs> I didn't put it in the they cell. Probably, I mean, the correct answer is Pence is super religious, like it's his whole thing. Mm-hmm. Romney's devoutly religious, mm-hmm. but he's not the popular religion. Mm-hmm. And Trump is totally a religious because he doesn't think, period. Correct. Don't you dare call him an atheist. However. Right. However, people mm. being dumb as hell. Very dumb. Are probably like Pence is moderately religious. Romney's not at all religious. Uh, and Trump is probably more religious than Romney for sure. So the ranking was Trump followed by a tie between Romney yeah. and Pence. There you go. <laughs> it's so good. I love it. God, we're such a dumb country. Greg Locke accuses who or what of being demonic. Everything who's not Something Greg Locke. delightfully specific. Well, he said that about people who are autistic. Nope. Uh, I mean, yes, but that's not what we're talking about. We're not. No, you're going to have to narrow it we're down. Not, uh, we're Greg Locke calls everybody not demonic. humans. Oh, oh, uh, nope. Got to narrow animals. it down. Which animals demonic? Uh, don't remember. Owls. Owls. That's right. That's why I saw all these owl memes because mm-hmm. that's all I use Facebook for. Mm-hmm. It's Greg Locke groups, mm-hmm. and they all posted owls, and they still do. It's a good piece of business. Yes, I love it. All right, moving on to deaths in September. Uh, Steve Harwell, uh, who is the lead singer of Smash Mouth. Oh, yeah. Listen, we can dog on Smash Mouth all we want. <laughs> I All-Star came out in, what, like 1998 or 9? Sure. It was so fun to be... <laughs> to have a song of the summer like that, that just <laughs> ever... And I was the... I, you know, I was probably 11 or 12... I was at an age that I didn't get sick of things very quickly. And I just, yeah, Smash Mouth is fine. 
I don't love that they covered I'm a Believer by the Monkees for <laughs> Shrek and now are considered like the singers of that. I do find that really problematic because mm-hmm. I'm a Believer is a classic monkey song written by Carol King and maybe uh, Jeffrey Goffin, but maybe not. Anyway, that's my thoughts on that. I think Steve Harwell probably was a good dude. Anyway, yes. Jimmy Buffett passed away. This is okay. another one that I felt sad about. Um, here's the thing you may not know about me. I've been to three to five Jimmy Buffett concerts in my life. What? I mean, it tracks. Sh- of course it tracks. The, I, the one I remember, here's two very specific moments I remember from going to Jimmy Buffett concerts. Mm-hmm. And I want to say overall, Jimmy Buffett was a good dude. From all of my understanding, uh, he was just a really sweet guy. And I'm sad that he died. And it's really sad that he died of skin cancer. Yeah. Um, the two things that I clock with Jimmy Buffett concerts are the first time I smelled weed <laughs> when my dad pointed it out to me uh-huh. because it was me and my dad and then my brother and one of his friends who they probably were 13, 14. And we had two seats like really far away. So I was with my dad and my brother and his buddy were being idiots wherever. Anyway, my dad leans over and goes, you smell it? <laughs> I said, yeah. He goes, that's weed. And I was like, Ew! You know the first time I had that smell? Uh. It was when I was student teaching and my mentor, the teacher I was assigned with, I my job was to check kids' homework and he pulls me aside and says, be careful with that corner of the room because I smell it there. And I'm like, I don't smell anything. <laughs> I thought a skunk yeah. died nearby. And he's like, just, just keep an eye on those kids. And I'm like, okay. I had friends who were high school teachers who were like, these kids come to fucking homeroom stoned. And it's like, I'm a pretty world-class stoner. (laughs) I don't know if I'm going to get stoned before fucking school at 8 a.m. That feels a little too much. Um, Where do you think we... Oh, oh, the owls. The owls. Oh, no, 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 no. Jimmy Buffett. Yeah. Diane Feinstein died. Uh Fucker. Mm -hmm. Like, truly not a great... Historical figure. Yeah, in the long term, not a great story arc for her. Early no. on, very nice. Although Later she did on. really mm. fight for like a Confederate flag to be flown somewhere in California. Really? Yeah, she mm. had some bad takes. Interesting. Um, just not one of my favorite human beings, honestly. And not a good Judiciary Committee member. This is what I am saying. Right. Well, she's uh, off there now. Michael Gamb. <laughs> also, she should have retired 10 years ago. That too. Michael Gamba. Gimbon? Gambon. Died. Do you know who he is? Sounds familiar, but no. He was Gandalf number two in the Never Harry Potter. It. Did you not see any of the Harry Did Potters? Did you say Harry Potter Gandalf? Fuck me. Try that again. Jessica Dumbledore. You guys have to understand how tired I am. <laughs> I've cried every day this week. Okay. Yeah, he died. He was the second okay. Gumbledore. I think he, prob- I'm sure he was like a renowned Shakespearean actor or whatever, I'm but sure. that's all I know. If they have an accent, that's just the first <laughs> assumption. They all have right. a British October. accent. October. We're in Q4, baby. Oh, my God. We're almost there. We better not be doing December. We're in December. We are in December. Oh, Congratulations geez. on remembering the Thank month. Thank you. All right. You okay. Got- Idaho has an anti-trans bill sure that they, they decide do. to keep going with. Um this is what I wrote. The country gets to know Mike Johnson, the oh. new s- <laughs> the new speaker of the house. Yeah. What are your favorite things about Mike Johnson? Mine is that he oh, shares pornography na- with his son. <laughs> how will I narrow down the list of uh, all the things I love about him? So good. Yeah. Outstanding. Okay. I, I do um, appreciate that Republicans can't get rid of him now because they got nobody that left. Like who they else? Can't go through who it again. else? All right. Liberty University. We find out they were. Just constantly failing to protect any of their students who were going through anything. Mm -hmm. All right. Are you ready for some questions? Go. Ryan Walters in Oklahoma. Why did we talk about him? In October. In October specifically. Yeah, you're going to have to specify. Uh, I mean, there's any number of reasons. Many. He wanted to see a religious sign in an elementary school. He wanted to approve a Christian uh, charter school, Catholic charter school with public money. What, I mean, all he does is talk about Jesus on social media. This gentleman in October said that Oklahoma educate, uh, excuse me, that church and state separation is quote state sponsored atheism. Oh yeah, of course. Neutrality is atheism to these people mm-hmm. all the time. Right. Cause he's not good at what he does. 
he's one of those guys that got handed a little bit of power because he really just got a title that had no real uh, power behind it. Mm. Or, I mean, some power, but, like, not much. And he just took it and ran with it and is trying to be the worst dude imaginable. Okay. I'm not sure if I did a good job of crafting this question for you. But a Pennsylvania lawmaker cites a Bible verse as proof that climate change is fake. Would you like to take a swing at what that Bible verse may have said or what verse it was from what book? No and no. The world will be around forever. Actually. God will destroy it when he wants to. What? Actually, Genesis 8.22, as long as the earth endures seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night will never cease. Yeah. I like the if clause at the beginning because mm-hmm. <laughs> it won't last forever. But it might, mm-hmm. according to the Bible. Yep. Um, all right. Okay, so again, I told you I started doing the questions in reverse order. Yeah. So the questions are getting worse as I go, <laughs> okay. Okay. as I unrefine. Um, Poland's census just revealed a drop in Catholicism. Right. Would you like to... What's the percentage now? Okay, so... It, uh, in 2001, yeah. excuse me, 2011, um, the number of, excuse the percentage of Catholics in Poland was 88%. Yeah. 10 years later. Ooh. Where was it? Is it at 60? Mm-mm, not that good. Oh. 70? What is mm, it? 71.3. All right. Which is significant. For that's Poland, a he- that's a huge Especially for Poland. Yeah. Um. Okay. They just elected a non-crazy government. Good on them. Yeah, I think Poland's doing good work. Um, okay. Uh, October, good shit. I turned 38. I didn't include Congrats. That. Thank you so much. My friend died that day. Aww. Women in Iceland strike for gender rights, including the prime minister. Nice. Which owns bones. And then McCarthy. Is he gone? Yep. Yep. Uh, and then it was fun for a few days. Oh, it was so fun. I do love, I love the seeing fact that there the are GOP no, in this array. There are no Republicans who are like, well, I'll just vote for the sane person on the other side because there are no sane Republicans. It's insanity. Uh, Britney Spears releases her memoir, mm. The Woman and Me, according to my friend Jackie. It's outstanding. Okay. And according to. Uh, I heard the audiobook was amusing. Clips I've seen, Justin Timberlake. Yep. Was a fucking d bag. Yes. Um, which honestly, we should have known. That tracked. Uh, the documentary Savior Complex, which we've there talked we about, yep. also popped out in October. All right, October deaths. Here we go. So the Matthew Perry death. Yes. Was difficult for me for three separate reasons. One, I'm a really big Friends fan and have been since I was a child. Two, I found out that he died at my friend Anne's wedding <sighs> and who has been a guest on this very show. Uh-huh. And I saw that he died about 10 minutes after I found out that one of my horses at my barn died. And again, I want to be clear at one of my best friend's weddings. Mm-hmm. So anyway, this, if I had to kind of sum up my year, It's that my dear friend Anne got married to a wonderful man in a beautiful ceremony and a beautiful reception, and she looked fucking stunning. And also that night I found out that two things that meant a lot to me died. That's kind of how my year went. Mm -hmm. Um, The Matthew Perry thing really, really, really uh, hit me hard, especially after seeing the Friends reunion thing. Mm -hmm. And... He clear. Uh, I think I don't know if it was surgery or something. Like he was clearly slur. Like he seemed cognitively fine, but he was slurring, and that freaked me. I, I just like him as a human being so much. It really hurt my heart. Um, Richard Roundtree died. He was chef. Okay. Uh, Suzanne Summers, who, mm. yeah, she was Three's Company, and did a lot of workout videos. Question mark. Yeah, she did. Yeah, that was her thing. Thigh master. Was she thigh, ma- thigh master? I wasn't mm-hmm. sure if that was her gang. Hemet, can you kind of describe to the young people the thigh master of it all? <laughs> it In was the just this 80s, thing. 80s, 90s, mm-hmm. call the pay, call the toll free number. Mm-hmm. Listen, if you only buy shit because you see it on TV before Amazon, that was 
the only option you had mm-hmm. because there was only one channel back in the day. Yeah. And they all aired this infomercial. Yeah. And the thigh master was just like, if you get this, your body is going to be fixed, <laughs> which we've been doing for a million years. Uh-huh. Um, uh, bop, bop, uh, Piper Laurie, who I would love to give a couple of moments to, um, she maybe is not necessarily well known. She was in my husband's favorite show, Twin Peaks. Um, and she was, I think, in her maybe 40s, early 50s. And kind of played this, like, femme fatale character. Um, and I just adore... This is maybe crass, but, like, there's a scene where she's having an affair with this other guy. And it's her, and she's, again, like, maybe in her 40s or early 50s. And she's wrapped in, like, a hotel sheet. Okay. And, like, t- and it's very sexy. And it's, like, usually we only see that with, like, 24-year-old gr- <laughs> women. Like, and it... She's so funny and so dynamic, and I really, really, really liked her as an actor. Um, and I'm, I'm sorry that we lost her. Yeah. Dick Buckus also died. Okay. Is football bears? Yeah. So I, growing up in Chicago, in the Chicagoland area in the '90s, Dick Buckus was kind of it. Every other. The pr- Bears were good in the '80s. The, br- the That's Bears the are thing you got to know. Very good. It's in gone the downhill 80s. since then. Yeah, but for but for With a like while. One exception, maybe one year. Uh, yeah, in 2006 ish, ish. They, they went to the Super Bowl. Oh, I've definitely t- told the story, but I'll tell it again. They were up against the Colts in Indianapolis, and I was going to school in Indiana at the time. And so I showed up at the Super Bowl party in a little, like, in literally a uh, Bears jersey that my brother mailed to me. He's like, I know you don't have shit up there. Uh huh. The first thing that happens, there's a kickoff and a dude runs it back for a touchdown. Devin Hester. And that was really... Uh, I've never been to a football party that had that much screaming in it was, favor. I've never been to a party. No. But I've never been to a party where so many Bears fans were in the same room and everyone lost their shit. Lost it was their great. mind. For me, imagine being in a Colts bar when that happened and I just <laughs> had to sit quietly and then... Of course, we got fucking creamed, but who yes. cares? Because football's stupid. All right, November. <laughs> yeah. We're getting so close. Hammond, you're doing a great job. Russia, okay. <laughs> this made me laugh so hard. Russia files a lawsuit to ban, quote, the international GBTQ, LGBTQ public movement. <laughs> Just, yeah. banned. Just banned. Just banned it. from Russia. Yeah, sure. A really small country that's easy to enforce things like that. Oh, yeah. Very good. Uh, Ian Hersielli happened. <laughs> I saw one website, a Christian website, that said it was the biggest story of the year, and I laughed my ass off because I'm like, the only people that would matter to, Is I promise you. literally you and me. <laughs> yeah, and I promise you, that wasn't even worth discussing because as even her fans have said, she didn't really have much substance when yeah. she said she became a Christian. It seems like it's just a cultural, like, I am anti-woke, so I'm going to join the people who also hate the same people I hate. It's the David Silverman of like, it all. Yeah, and it had nothing to do with Jesus Dave whatsoever. Silverman. Hilarious. Yeah. So obnoxious. Um, you brought the skydiving Christian baby thing to my doorstep. <laughs> I hated that. The best thought questions that are so unthoughtful. Fucking stupid. Aura is the best. Um, this is a genuinely sad story. Uh, do you remember uh, Bubba Copeland? Uh-huh. This is a really uh, rough story. Arkansas he, pastor. Mm-hmm. He uh, apparently liked to cross-dress. I don't mm-hmm. know if that's even the thing that they yep. would say anymore. He liked to cross-dress. He posted about it on yeah. some... Which is fine. On and his finstas. He was uh, outed. Mm -hmm. For that. By a right-wing publication that has not apologized to this day about what they did. And he uh, died by suicide. Yep. Because for apparently these people, maintaining the order of being a straight dude is more important than any person's life. Mm -hmm. Which is why I think I'm better than all Christians. Yep. That was six glasses of wine speaking. Okay. Hammett, are you ready for a question? Yes. A Catholic church in Florida mm-hmm. canceled a performance from somebody. Canceled a performance? Oh Why did God. they do it? Why did they do it? It was a woman. 
a performance. Mm, it was like a, a maybe event. not a performance. Like they an canceled event. an event yes. because she had her babies through IVF. That's exactly right. That. And these are, again, just like the Bubba Copeland thing. These are the moments of like, do you guys really think you're the good guys? <laughs> yeah. Is this how you think yeah. it's, is this good for you? Mm-hmm. This feels good. And she, to her credit, is nothing if not a self-promoting machine. Yeah. And she's like, this church has kicked me out because I love my babies. Good, fucking and good for her. Yep. She she did great work. Got attention. Um, beep, bop, boop. Okay, so good shit. Andy Bashir was reelected. Good for in him. Kentucky, my... I'm Strategy for Andy Bashir in Kentucky to win that governorship. A Democrat in Kentucky was, hey, Biden, just don't show up here. Truly. And, and we didn't talk about this on mm-hmm. this show. The biggest campaign ad he had in Kentucky was a, I don't know if she's in high school or just started college, but it was a girl who's in her teens whose commercial is, hey, Daniel Cameron, Republican, this is like for you. I was sexually assaulted by my stepfather. <gasps> he raped me. I was going to have a baby. I'm paraphrasing here. I don't remember specifics. But she said, I needed to get an abortion. Y- if you get elected, I would not have that chance. Wow. Why are you on his side? Something like that. It was so powerful. I'm doing a bad job of it. Go watch it. But, but that campaign it suck had, that women have to lay yes, their soul bare? 100%. It's horrible that she put her, like, she would have to be put in that situation to put that publicly because her close friends did not know Mm -hmm. all that stuff, but she did it because she wanted him stopped. And Daniel Cameron, the Republican did not have a good answer to anything. She said, because she's right. She asked him in person. No, she said like in the ad, she called him out by name and he tried to respond and like, what's his response? Like, well, I, I would have exceptions for, rape if she wants to present like papers to the do- like what is he gonna respond does he really say that because he mean, wanted he wanted to say no exceptions no abortions no exceptions and of course when you see an ad like that which is what democrats are going to do all over the country next mm-hmm. year they better um mm-hmm. he, what is he going to respond like oh of course we would have exceptions for her situation um but he can't say that because he would lose Honestly, and anyway Andy Bashir is- won because he ran on abortion and he didn't try to he knew Biden wasn't popular, so he's mm. like, I'm just going to do my own thing. Yeah. Ran on abortion, won in Kentucky for a Democrat. For the second. For the second straight second time. Second term. One of the only statewide uh, people who can win, which and raises let's an not interesting forget question. That the Kentucky senators are not strong which, human beings. Which raises the question of when Mitch McConnell dies, dies when I murder in him. the next uh, three months. <laughs> two things can happen. One is that murder Mitch McConnell, the probably. Republican lawmakers in Kentucky have passed a law, passed a law that says uh, Democratic governors can't choose the replacement. Republicans in the legislature get to pick three options and the governor has to choose from that list mm-hmm. because they knew this was going to happen. Sure. And Andy Bashir's like, go I fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. I know that's illegal, but I'm not filing a lawsuit yet because it's not. I, it's not a case we need to judge right now. Sure. But when it happens, he will absolutely better believe. file the lawsuit, and there's a good chance he would win that lawsuit because they can't just change that law. And then the question is, who does he appoint? Because he could appoint himself, and he now knows he can win a statewide race. He's one of the only Democrats <gasps> in Kentucky who could win a statewide race, oh my God. which raises a very interesting option of how soon can Mitch McConnell leave us? How? And I don't know the answer to that. But um, that's there's my only prediction for 2024. Wow. I, I mean, I think both sides, both parties run into this kind of thing of like, dude, retire. Dude, retire. Dude, uh-huh. retire. And it's... And Ruth Bader Ginsburg failed the test. Yeah. And, and I don't... And Mitch McConnell, having Andy Bashir win, means Mitch McConnell failed the test. If he dies in the next whatever. Well, four years. Four now. years, which I hope... Frankly, I want to be really honest in saying this in the microphone. I hope he dies. <laughs> I don't care if I'm a bad person. I've had 75 glasses of wine. All right. Uh, Ukraine and Moldova, uh, Moldova, excuse me, um, they are getting ready to join the EU. They're starting Good. negotiations on that, which is great news, especially for, for Ukraine. Sweden's on the verge of joining NATO. Finland did this year. Is all of that's good, too. 
I also, this is so neither here nor there, I'm really impressed how we as a collective went from the Ukraine to Ukraine. <laughs> it was really just like willpower on our part. Because it's one of those things that like it sounds weird for a long time until it doesn't. Yeah. Right? Anyway, that was nothing. Um, for the first time ever, uh, teachers in Portland, Oregon went for went on strike. Good. Uh, which is great. Um, New York surgeons, this I didn't know, um, the first complete eye transplant oh. happened in New York. And apparently they d- the guy who had it uh, had an electrical uh, thing. That's like what how he, how he hurt himself. Um, so they don't know if the eye is going to regain sight. Okay. So I, I'm very curious to see, like, is it just a cosmetic thing? Yeah, or do yeah. they feel like this is... Interesting. Yeah, so I'm very... I, I think that's really interesting. Uh, deaths in November. Uh, Sandra Day O'Connor. I oh. genuinely, I as even though I'm a big history dork, I would argue that she is a huge blind spot for me. I don't know almost any. I know she was the first uh, Supreme Court justice, female Supreme Court mm-hmm. justice. She was conservative, question mark? Oh, 100% conservative with a couple exceptions. Very much like Anthony Kennedy in that sense. Okay. But Bush v. Gore, she was on Bush. Like, Mm. bad justice on a lot of issues. But, again, what are we speaking relative to? Sure. Because today, you would love to have her on the court. Oh, God, she would have fallen off the left end Um, (laughs) today. (laughs) But also, like, her replacement was Samuel Alito. So, the fact that she retired before it was her time. Like, she Mm. was trying to do civic education shit for years after she left and it's like nobody cares about whatever curriculum you're trying to sell stay on the court so it doesn't get worse mm. and nope she failed that test too so did wait so history. you're mad that she retired too early she retired too early because george that- w bush was president when she retired and she did not have to because there was no but reason she's to. she's a conservative, so she didn't mind that a conservative was going to replace her. Which is the point. If she doesn't care that Samuel Alito or someone like him was going to be her replacement, so you think what does in- that say about her so judgment? So the inevitability that she was going to be replaced by somebody much more conservative with her makes like her choice to retire knew. irresponsible? Is yep. that what you're... Everyone okay. knew that's what would happen, hmm. uh, um, except maybe her, because she like Alito wasn't the first option. But again, it was going to be I mean, bad. it doesn't sound like it was an... Inevitable. Well, so you're saying it was inevitable that they were going to replace her with somebody conservative and worse. If George W. Bush Alito is in was power, not the the fear. Well, it was John just Roberts was the first guy uh, George W. Bush nominated to the Supreme Court. Uh-huh. It wasn't going to be more liberal than sure. John Roberts, sure. so of course it was going to be bad. And the fact that she chose to retire, but did she care? That's my point. Mm. Clearly, she didn't care enough mm-hmm. that to think about her replacement and how that would upend a lot of the some liberal decisions that she signed on to. So, meh. Yeah. Um, Henry Kissinger almost also died, who, again, this is another thing that, like, I consider myself fairly knowledgeable about 20th century politics. Like, I, I don't, I, I didn't study it, whatever. But, like, it's something I'm very interested in. Until he died, I don't think I, f- I, I know I did not fully appreciate the destruction yeah. that Henry Kissinger left in his way. I believe the left-wing magazine Jacobin, they had asked experts years ago to write what harm did Henry Kissinger cause, and they assigned it by country. So they have like 20 essays, like here's what he did in this country, in whatever, pick your pick your poison. Like Vietnam would... Yeah. That's one chapter, Korea. but they did it for like all these countries, many of them. And then they just sat on that whole thing. And the day he died, they released all those essays online huh. and started selling a book. I mean, to their credit, like we put this together for the day he dies so people could remember how bad he was in history. Hmm. And I read some of those, but not all of them because there's a lot. Holy shit. Like. The, the depth, because they got historians to write this shit, mm-hmm. not randos. And the amount of harm he caused in all these countries where he played a role in their politics yeah. is just devastating. I urge you, go look it up and read some of those essays. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's another one where it's like, glad you're gone. Mm-hmm. Also, this should have happened Also, he ago. lived until he was like 142, yeah. so he's fine. Yeah. Uh, Rosalind Carter died, which is... Expected, sad. Expected, okay. too bad. 
Um, Bobby Knight died. Fuck him. <laughs> You're from Indiana. I'm, first of all, not <laughs> from Indiana. How fucking you dare you? You went to school in Indiana. I went to school in Indiana. I don't think that men throwing chairs in public <laughs> is an appropriate way to express your emotions. But fuck me, I guess, because uh-huh. women cry sometimes. And that's <laughs> worse than throwing chairs. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, December. Are you ready? Okay. Here we go. Uh, the GL, the GOP blocked a ban on assault and weapons because obviously course. Denmark reinstated their blasphemy law, which mm. you are not happy about. Mm. Uh, that's all I have for the bad shit. Again, so I did the news in chronological <laughs> order, so I'm yes. tired. Okay. Uh, ooh, Santos. Santos. Ah, bye. So fun. Have you seen my fate? Listen, I know Santos is a villain, but... <laughs> There is a video of somebody doing like a gotcha journalism thing and like, Santos, what do you think about the drama in this year's drag race? And he goes, <gasps> like he does his face of like, I'm mad at you to like, girl, finally. And You're it, not the gay best friend. It made me laugh so hard because I think that's the only true Santos will ever see is just like a gay idiot who loves dra- drag. Yeah, yeah. Um. Anyway, um. Did you know McCarthy's leaving Congress at the end of the year? I didn't know that. That's really fun. (laughs) Which means Republicans are down to like a two-vote majority, something like that. Again, it's still bad, but it's kind of funny. It's so funny how bad they are at being a collective. Yeah. Like they all, because I I mean, I guess that makes sense, right? Like they're How do you gerrymander your way this badly or this much and still... Find because yourself their in this whole situation? thing is independence. Their whole thing is I rely on fucking nobody or nothing. And that's not sustainable for anybody besides really rich people. And so everyone's like, oh, <laughs> actually, no. I My favorite thing I would like unemployment, actually. <laughs> they've gerrymandered pretty much as far as they can go in every state they can gerrymander, mm-hmm. which means any court decision. This is the best they're ever going to do. Oh, yeah. It is, which means, like, what are you going to do in Texas? What are you going to do in another state? Because you've already gerrymandered it. You have nowhere else to go. Listen, this is the lead poisoning of it all. Lead poisoning causes a lack of ability to think about (laughs) long-term consequences. And you see this all over the place with Republicans, not only with environmental law, but shit like this. Like, our aim is to kill Roe v. Wade and then... Question mark. They don't consider that a lot of people think abortion is pretty fucking important. Every single Democrat, top to bottom, should just run on... I don't care if you're running for... Abortion, period. End of sentence. I don't care if you're running for school board. Just run on abortion if you're a Democrat and say, we support women's rights. They don't. And Mm. be done with it. Yeah. It works. Um, Colorado removed Trump from the state ballot. uh, Which... I'm it won't last, so but it's a good start. Are you ready for this? Do you know how I found out about it? Hmm. Guy told me in Hooters. <laughs> That's all. Congrats. Uh, thank you so much. I'm living my best life. Mm-hmm. Um, the last thing I have for good shit is just in all caps, Cybertruck. How <laughs> is that a good thing? Because it's the so dumbest fucking looking car. stupid looking. Yeah. It's It genuinely looks... I like looks the memes of... I saw a, a cyber truck on the road, and it's a garbage dumpster. <laughs> it's a trash bin. It genuinely looks like a little robot I built in eighth grade science <laughs> to be like, wh- like it's just it's so st- it's deeply stupid looking in it in a fundamental way. Like the matteness of it all looks stupid. The hard lines of it look terrible. It, it's just again. A, Elon is just a hype machine. So He's not good fucking, at what he does. And I think also, I think I learned this while I was reading this. The Hyperloop has been killed. Yeah, which, which he is, built to stop them from doing public transit. There's a very good episode of Well, There's Your Problem about the Hyperloop, where they just walk you through his vision to what actually happened, which is essentially an Uber. Uh-huh. Um, it's outstanding. Okay, deaths in December. Oh, this one. Sucked. Andre Brower died. He was um, the chief in uh, in Brooklyn Nine Nine, which obviously a cab, but Brooklyn Nine Nine rules. He was. Uh, it's a. This is a rough one. He was an outstanding actor and clearly had untapped potentials in comedy. 
which there's truly nothing that makes me happier than when really serious actors take on comedic roles. Mm -hmm. Um, It just, I just love it. It just makes me think that they get it. You know, they get what's funny about what they do. Um, And that was a, that was genuinely a strong, a strong bummer. Um, uh, Ryan O'Neill also died. He uh, he was in Paper Moon with his daughter Tatum O'Neill, maybe more famous. Okay. Um, I've never seen Paper Moon. I listened to a really interesting uh, podcast about Polly Platt. Um, you must remember this. And so, anyway, that's that. I would recommend it. Uh, Norman Lear died. Do you know who he is? Yeah. So he did All in the Family, Good Times, The Jeffersons, like a real prolific. Um, mm-hmm. People for the American Way, which runs Right Wing Watch also. That's his baby. Wait, really? Yep. Is that true? Yeah. So he's, he's bad everywhere. Guy. Wait, wait. Right Wing Watch. So he's liberal? Oh, yeah. Was liberal. I mean, yeah. Okay, sorry. I, so. I heard you say right wing and I panicked. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, the Right Wing dogs. Watch is, yes. is the, the good thing. Okay. Um, and also, literally, I think this happened today. Uh, Lee, Lee Sung Kyun who was in Parasite. Parasite. He mm-hmm. was the the rich husband. Um, he was found dead in his car, I think, today or yesterday, which yeah. is very sad. He had, well, he had drug, uh, drug issues, for yeah. a, a, a long addiction issues, rather, for a long time. Anyway, um, Hemet, what's a good thing that happened to you this year? This year? Mm. You know what? This is the first full year I wasn't writing for another outlet. I just did it on my own. Yeah, you sure did. Do you feel good about that? Yes, it was the right decision. Should have done it a long time ago, but I'm glad I did. Do you think you... It's it's less stressful in a sense, and I feel like I'm writing more substantive material. Why do you think that is? And clickbait doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how many people read it. If you like what I do, you could subscribe, and that's it. And sure. then haven't had any complaints, really. So that's it was great. good. Yeah, that's really yeah. good. I like this that podcast. Is fun. I'm and proud of this dumb podcast. Yeah. I really, I, I've been thinking about it a lot. Of, I don't know. This is a really important thing that we're doing. I think. Like, I, I, I think I finally heard from enough people who genuinely relied on our bullshit. <laughs> For their mental... Because I know that life. Yeah, like, they send some really sweet emails. They send nice messages. They send nice checks. Is that tacky to say? No, like sometimes, somebody, yeah. Somebody send us a lot of money just for like, hey, I had a hard time and you helped me and I'm doing financially yeah, good and sweet. I want to help you. I It means a lot. I, you know, I work for... Or write for the AMA, but this job and my other job I don't do for you know for the money I do it because it's something I deeply believe in and it is you know I get paid minimum wage to do the job that I think is the most important thing I do mm-hmm. um and it it means a lot that people like what we do yeah. and and if you made it to the two hour 36 mark dang, of this podcast that's pretty good then we appreciate that you listen it's thanks for supporting us and Are we going to do a, Do we have to do a bonus still? No, we're not doing a bonus okay, today. Okay, good. Do you want to go to bed so bad? I am going to bed. <laughs> no, uh, we'll be back next week with the regular I didn't anything episode. about uh, Survivor. I'm s- <laughs> I, gen- I had a moment that I should. I was like, I should look into Survivor. <laughs> it's all good. Okay, guys. We'll um, I'm you. sorry 2023 was a garbage year. <laughs> and here's hoping we ben. do better. Thank you guys for being part of our dumb community and yep. Hammond, thank you thank you a, as well jess for what for everything for making this fun because if i'm just talking about this stuff to myself which i do <laughs> on a live stream every week now it's just not nearly as entertaining that is one of my favorite things when people are like jess needs to leave and i'm like do you just want to listen to Hammond reading his own art i promise you it's not as fun <laughs> i know all right, gang. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. Thank you for thank you for being a friend. Yep. We'll see you next Travel week. Travel down the road and back again. <laughs> <laughs>